Is it bad that I like the robot voice more than PM's voice? You realize the weakness and fragility of flesh, do you crave the strength and certainty of steel? It's more about the fact that he chooses to use the most annoying voice he can think of for the vast majority of his intros but your explanation is okay too. <coughs> it's a binge compilation movie. I'm coming back. The trick to a good insult is sort of talking around it and making them think so that it hits harder when they realize what you're talking about. For example, you look like the Minotaur. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You look like you have a bull's head. Slightly funnier. You look like you should be imprisoned in an underground labyrinth for the safety of Crete. There we go. Convinced that anyone hyping up a Barbie movie is part of the Shadow Barbie government? It's true, Barbie is paying me personally to hype up her film. Losing is a fake idea invented by Big Mad to sell more angry. That's surprisingly motivating. By the way, it's real bold of Hollywood to be like, the writers and actors have unrealistic expectations, but we know what we're doing. When they got tricked into releasing Morbius in theaters a second time, Hey, is the person running the booty diaries okay? Sometimes I get the overwhelming desire to eat two-thirds of a brick. What do you do with the other third? Feed it to my pet brother. I wish all nights were like this. Hanging out with my bestie, watching shows till 10 p.m. I get home and it's storming. I have my window open, my fan on, my favorite music playing, and I'm snuggled into bed with a big, thick blanket and my balak shark. Perfect night. So what if women are dancing in the moonlight and turning into wolves? As if we can help it! Traditional human nanotechnologies, such as yeast. Traditional yeast macro-technologies, such as humans. Stop. Only true gamers use the Nintendo GameCube Keyboard Controller. No, but seriously, if you played Fantasy Star Online, this was your savior. Fun fact, did you know that you can gain extra forbidden time by staying up late in the night? But watch out. I have so much Homestuck on my dash. My brother and Carcat, you followed the Homestuck blog. Bro, just guess the character in Homestuck meant to represent Jesus Christ and was correct. What? Why? Now you fat. Because every time I fuck your dad, he makes me a sandwich. And every time we kiss, I swear I can fly. Actually, all fossil reconstructions are wrong because flesh only evolved recently. Before that, it was bone world. Don't ever say those two words next to each other ever again. Sinner. Why is everyone complaining about the font size of the quotes? H! I don't know, looks fine to me. Made that uh, extra funny move of wearing a be gay do crime shirt to jury duty today. Were you chosen to be a juror? No. Damn it. Self-care is wolfing down chicken nuggets while watching a crab eat an onion ring on YouTube after a shitty day at work. Truly the best self-care. Andy, do yourself a favor. Scoff down those chicken nuggets. Go. So, my friend forgot to secure the latch on his magic card briefcase, and all his commander decks are now mixed together. So now he's playing 1200 card pickup and has to reorganize everything. Go ahead. Start gathering. I see Hollywood is now very into the idea of buying something once and then owning it forever, being able to make infinite copies. Which isn't quite the message they imparted upon me in my childhood, in the spirits of their own long-held stance. Can't trust anyone who criticizes the Mamma Mia movie. Like, what the frick are you even criticizing? The plot? The characterization? My brother in Christ, they put Meryl Streep, Colin Firth, and Amanda Seyfield on an island, got them drunk, and asked them to sing ABBA songs in the campiest way possible! This, that, that's literally it! By this point, you have to just assume that you're the problem. Oh, I, I feel so popular. Like five of my mutuals like my post. Wow. What's posted on the internet stays there forever. It's true for everything except for that one piece of fan art you saw when you were 10 that changed the trajectory of your life forever. You will never find that again. It's gone forever. You have to let Denny's parking lot at 3 a.m. go.
you have to think independently. You have to come up with your own strange places and indeed your own strange times to be there. There's authenticity in that. I want to art, but my hands are not arting. So now I'm just staring at the sketch hoping something happens. Spoilers, it's not working. Parky Chow, do you think you get a post to 1 million likes? There are only like 300 Tumblr users. It's true, 300 users, all with 70 alternative accounts. Frankly, if I'm the odd one in the group, I'd rather be mislabeled than singled out. All right, ladies. Oh, and Dave. Like, don't put me on the spot like that. For the purpose of this exercise, I will answer to ladies. I was explaining my sexuality to my coworkers about how I'm both asexual and into kink culture, and after a minute, my coworker said, Oh, it's like you don't play the FNAF game, but you like the lore. And I haven't recovered. I wish I didn't have lactose intolerance so I could try hot cock without fainting later. Uh, hot cock? Hot cocoa! Hot cocoa! Penis typo. Oh no. I saw a wiggly worm on the pavement and it looked sad, so I said, Oh no, Mr. Worm, you're in a very sorry state. Back into the thicket with you. And I gently put it back into the grass, then I turned around and there was a teenager laughing at me! Why are the youth so cruel? The concept of plagiarism, going from taking someone else's work and passing it as your own, to now being anything that you take inspiration from to make your own thing, is killing creativity. I'll fight people on that. Online plagiarism software flags anything similarly formulated as plagiarism. Like, come on. There isn't 100 ways to give the date of birth and death of someone, for example. This is fucking up teenagers' minds. That's how you get kids calling out artists for stealing poses or color palette. The way these strikes get framed is always so funny to me. The strike could stretch on until the end of summer. Or the executives could pay their workers. There won't be any new shows because of this strike. Or the executives could pay their workers. No more content for us because the mean old writers and actors are- Or the executives could pay their workers! I'm the guy they hit with cars over and over to test for safety. I'm the girl who hits this guy with cars to test for safety. Can you stop? I just realized I can be perceived. This is not good, freaking out RN. Andy. Perceive them into the dirt! So what makes a butcher's knife more butch than other knives? The knife itself isn't necessarily butch. It's named that because it's wielded by a butcher, who is more butch than other food shop owners. Hmm. I say. What then makes the butcher more butch than other food shop owners? The knife. That's what ancient Greek philosophy is like. Is it weird that I'm scared of Sienna? Like, she's cute and all, but... Too cute. She's just standing there. Adorably! Get out of there, SpongeBob! Alright, sir, the divorce is finalized. Would you like to receive your no bitches mega mind in email or paper? <laughs> paper. Boom was mad because they had to play with Jax instead of DMC3. Honestly, it was probably right. Guys, how do I turn off sad mode? Guys? Anybody? Our founding fathers died so that I could wear thigh-high socks, cute makeup, and go to Walmart, and live. See, Mario Creepypasta fundamentally doesn't work, because you know what Mario would actually do if we saw some dimension-warping, hundred-handed cosmic horror? He wouldn't lose his mind. He'd take one look at that Shin Megami Tensei-looking fucker, pull out his dorky little mushroom-shaped cell phone, hit the fourth number on his contact list, and go, Hey, Corby? I think one of your boys got lost. Or he'd just fight it himself. No, 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 he would not, for two reasons. One, this represents a fundamental misunderstanding of Mario's central plot structure. Mario always gets his ass beat in his initial encounter with an outside context problem that spends the bulk of the game going around gathering allies and kicking the legs out from under the outside context problem support structure, aka this game. And the number two, this sort of thing clearly falls into another protagonist idiom, and Mario is a union man. He's not going to scab on Kirby. Perish the thoughts. Spellcasters hate the fact, but if you just stick your fingers in their mouth while casting a spell with a verbal component, it's literally more effective than a counter spell. This also works with pinning their hands against the wall when they're trying to use some nanic opponents. Basically, if you make out sloppy style while pressed against a wall, the spellcasters can't do anything. This is a very long and convoluted way to saying you wanted to make out with your fellow spellcaster. Andy, shame them. I'm so strong and masculine, my arm doesn't even shake when I'm holding a pot over the sink while I fill it up with water. Lying. 
It's okay. I don't think anyone can do that. Pucky, you are correct all the time, ever. Even when I'm super horribly wrong, I'm right. I love being me. I have never felt more like a rotisserie chicken before in my life. To be clear, I had a bath and decided to wash both my front and my back at the same time before rinsing, so I was like, how do I get de-soaped? Thus came the spinning weed. I know I've been talking about Joltik a lot recently, but I genuinely think it's the cutest Pokemon ever. Look at him. He's, he's, he's so tiny. He's just a little mean. Movie theater attendant says, enjoy your movie. I say, you too. I whip out an extra ticket and we go on a date. Smooth motherfucker. Don't think I can connect with anyone who hasn't been in a wizard maze anymore. It changed me. Mm. Why couldn't the hackers take on Wattpad instead? Oh, poor AO3 people are still coping. Explain your gender in ten words or less without using the boring words like male, female, non-binary, masculine, feminine, or androgynous. Go! Mentally ill all kid who's having a crisis fluctuates presentation. Oh! I do not grasp the concept of moderation. <laughs> Friendly reminder that yesterday when my mom took me to Walmart, she left me alone in the toilet paper section, and this guy started hitting on me, and I said, Sorry, I'm a lesbian. And he was like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I thought you were a boy. This was my Barbenheimer. Oh my god, they're so right. Personally, I went with Roblox oof because I needed to know more about Tommy freaking Tellerico. Please stop global warming, I don't look good in shorts. It took two hours of prodding, and you unraveled like an Ace Attorney character on cross. <laughs> she sent on my man, till I called her who can. Utterly incomprehensible to anyone who spends a healthy amount of time online. Fantastic. What? What happened to my dashboard? Why did they change it? This isn't natural! Put it back! There's something so satisfying about using ellipses like a boomer. I'm in a perpetual state of ponderance, ruminating. My mind a mere cow chewing grass in an open field. Motto Goblin, why must we play God? Artistic representation of how the lemon was invented in the first place. Look, you don't need threads. Citrus are such whores they'll cross with any other citrus. They're not choosy. Citrus are whores is not something I expected to see on the hell site today. I'm not wrong, though. They're easily the sluttiest fruit. You don't see Rosalie's pulling this shit. I mean, yeah, apples will breed weird new apples, but nothing fucks around like citrus. So we're slut-shaming the fruit now? Tags that look homophobic without context. I mean, technically, squashes are fruits, but they are also extremely slutty. Wait, is that why certain fan fictions are called lemons? Adding eight hours of sleep isn't enough. I want to slumber under the earth for eons like the old gods. This is a cry for help, please. One time I dreamt Gomez and Morticia Adams got divorced. I woke up mortified and with a sense of inexplicable dread. Yeesh, what a horrible nightmare. But no, those two, they were probably just divorcing so they could get married all over again. The urge to bother my mutuals. The urge is strong, but the social anxiety is stronger. Reblog if it's okay for your mutuals to bother you. Is it okay if I send you an image of Chalky Milk at 3 a.m.? You see, Barry the Platypus, when I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. No, 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 please don't. No, no, no. Skin is just people crust. Go back to the Doofenshmirtz doing Black Parade. Every day I wear my, I keep all my dad jokes in a database t-shirt on public, and every day people refrain from asking me to tell a dad joke. I've had like five locked and loaded for coffee shop employees alone. If I ever write something set in the United States, I'm just going to do like zero research whatsoever and make stuff up to sound cool. It's equality. The lush, impenetrable jungles of Massachusetts. I wear a bra not for my own comfort, but to keep others safe. To keep them contained. For my tits are indeed not calm. As a child being told the moon controls the tides, with no additional explanation, I was like, Oh, okay. You want me to believe in magic? You're talking about magic right now. Oh, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. 
of its proximity, but it isn't the only influence. The sun, with about 27 million times the mass of the moon, is always the gorilla in the room when it comes to solar system equations, but it's a distant gorilla, about 390 times farther away than the moon. Sorry, only semi-related, but I simply wasn't ready for the sun is a distant gorilla. Thank you, Nessa. I had a dream that Tumblr added a difficulty slider, and when I went to the highest difficulty, my phone exploded. Oh man, that sucks, bro. Sure would be a shame if your phone exploded right now. I'm this Bonnie's mom. Are you kidding me? It's smaller than a playing card. It's so tiny and cute. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, if we want to save Tumblr, we just have to put on the biggest talent show this town's ever seen. Hey man, you've been taking a while putting your change back in your wallet, and I just want to let you know we're kicking you out of the grocery store forever. Goodbye. Ben and Jerry's is dangerous ice cream. Capitalizes on the evolutionary human instinct to dig for chunks. Before you know it, half the pint gone. The children yearn for the mines. Probably good RPG ideas. The Oracle hides a terrible secret. She's a time traveler from the future. None of her prophecies are prophecies. They're just things she remembers about history. She also has an even more terrible secret. She's from really far in the future, and history wasn't her best subject in school. Andy, for all the love that is holy, write that down. Yeah, sorry, I don't really consume any media outside of letting this purple fungus grow in my lungs. It's excruciating. We live in a world that's so beautiful. Like knowing my car is in the hands of a bisexual Full Metal Alchemist fan. The peace I feel. Nothing like it. Well... Okay. I told the hibachi guy to make me regret being born when he asked how spicy I wanted my spicy chicken, and he just nodded solemnly. I'll see you on Valhalla. I'm seeing dead prophets! I wore a line that second can kill you. It tastes really good though, my compliments to the chef. PM, does Tumblr's status of being the hell side prevent it from being counted as a social media? I used to say I don't use social media, but now I need to ask a Tumblr professional if that statement still stands. Tumblr is the social media for antisocial people. There, I said it. Seeing people be like, I know it's gonna be hard to support the SAG strike because movies and shows will stop coming out, but it's so fucking funny. Like, can I introduce you to a beautiful concept called the million billion movies and shows that already exist that you couldn't even get through in a lifetime if you wanted? Welcome to heaven. Just do it. Like, seriously, you can't look me in the eye and tell me that you have watched every movie and show ever made. J just do it. I look forward to that one internet commenter that's like, um, actually, I have. <laughs> 11.38, arrived at crime scene. 11.38, examined body, signs of a struggle. 11.38, found murder weapon in a drain. 11.38, realized watch was broken. Jeff, I swear to God! If you put a milkshake in one yard and crack a cold one in another yard, which yard would the boys go to? Schrodinger's boys. What about cracking open a cold milkshake? As we all know, the milkshake brings the boys to the yard. The presence of the boys is a prerequisite for cracking open a cold one. But cold ones do not have any inherent boy-attracting abilities. Milkshakes, however, do. All else being equal, the boys would proceed to the milkshake yard. While it is possible to announce the presence of the cold ones in the hopes of attracting some boys, the pull of the milkshake is much more powerful by comparison. Mind you, all of this nonsense hinges on whether or not the boys are back and down. I hate how this all makes sense. Please stop! You know... Back in my day, if a pestilence swept through the land during a time of famine and flood, it meant that the reigning kings had displeased the gods, and that we risked the gods' further ire by obeying them. Then you took the king out, chopped his head off, and threw him into a bog to appease the angry gods. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't. 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 People will bring up fictional murder as if I had anything to do with it or could stop it. Like, I'm not aware. You know this freak kills people, right? Man, what do you want me to do about that? I'm not his keeper. He's funny to observe. And also not real. You know what? You fucked around enough. Now it's time to find it out. Oh, shit!
A -A 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 What's your gender? Cohen Dwee. Are you sure you entered a valid gender? I'm being oppressed. Positive affirmations. I have not been poisoned by a witch. Ow. 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 If you reach the top of my pyramid and you think your challenges are over, well, think again, buddy. That is where my sarcophagus is. You fight the evil mummy at the top of the pyramid. Everybody knows this. Andy, you knew this, right? You ever take a quiz and realize halfway through that you don't respect the author and their opinion is useless to you? Yes, A.T.? Everyone shut up except this person. My wife just found out I was cheating after she found the letters I was hiding. She got mad and said she is never playing Scrabble with me again. Hamilton's alternate ending. Okay, Chow. I need bitches. How do I get bitches, oh wise one? You gotta stop calling him that, man. You, seriously, that's it. That, that's the thing. Ugh, okay, unfollowing. I had no clue he chopped down the entire forest and drove out all of its wildlife and caused near irreversible damage to the world's ecosystems just to make some fuzzy, shapeless thneed. Come on, guys. I think we're blowing this way out of proportion. I mean... How bad could it... How bad... Honestly, the term biohacking in reference to trans people accomplishes nothing except making transitioning seem really, really, really fucking cool. I'm in. I'm him. <laughs> that's, that's probably one of the funniest jokes I've ever heard. McDonald's french fry with too much salt. How much is too much? Too. Wow. I just found out Joe Biden isn't even bi. <gasps> Remove him! Is there a word that's a mix between angry and sad? Malcontented, disgruntled, miserable, desolated. Smad. There are two types of people. I feel like an eternity has passed in two minutes, a month and a moment, and a breath took eons. All because I started to try using dating apps. Purgatory is a better alternative at this point. Look at you, anxious ace. Take a deep breath. Relax your shoulders. Unclench your jaw. You nervous looking ace. Seeing Spider-Verse with my little sister, I guess. Life is worth living, holy shit. What's up, danger? Today I learned in 1903, the New York Times predicted that building a flying machine would be possible in one to ten million years. To understand how ridiculous this is, the first successful powered airplane flew the same year, 1903. And you're understating how ridiculous. It wasn't just the same year. It was nine days later. Nine. Nine. Love that fighting is considered a Pokemon type. Like, yeah, I got magical elemental skills. It's called kicking your ass. The ability to turn the post above you into a speech bubble of a character of your choice is an essential weapon of Tumblr PvP. Oh, you son of a gun. Miserably eats a stale McDonald's fry. <laughs> Tumblr is short for tumble dryer because that's what being on this website feels like. That sounds relaxing though. Look at me go. Wee. My friend has no idea what FNAF is. Explain each game in two words. Fabulous fast bear. Can I also just say it's weird that the game is like named after the mascot that gets like the least attention? Except for Security Breach. They really. Oh, they really himboed him up. Pocky Cho, are you aware of TikTok's infatuation with you? I am unaware of everything. It's almost like, oh, I don't know, Tumblr is like that place under the rock where all the little ants live, completely unbeknownst to the rest of the world. Today I stubbed my toe very hard against my dresser, but I didn't feel anything. Hashtag numb. I spelled dresser wrong, are you serious? And toe. Wait, what? This is so embarrassing. Two foot tall, 25 pound cobalt rogue. Please don't take away my emotional support, Dragonborn. Seven foot one, 300 pound Dragonborn Barbarian. Yeah, she might get carried away by an above average owl. When you try to reblog a post, but it's tagged, freaks do not interact and your hand singes and burns, like when a demon touches the Bible. What if you went to your normal job when they were doing a musical episode? Oh no. No, I would walk out that door immediately. No, I'm not doing it. The most fucked up part about adult life is how you can just decide to do things. Unmarried person spotted. Hmm. You seem straight. 
Damn. Wait, I realize this Twitter rate limiting thing happened literally the same day as the Reddit third party app shutdowns. Wonder how many of those users came here today to this Luigi wins by doing nothing ass website. Probably bad RPG ideas. DM. Players. And a secret third thing. The secret third thing is me. I'm the guy who makes all the wacky homebrew that everyone loves but you can't find anywhere. Gently places a small clump of moss in your hand. Hmm. We shall be married in the morning. When my program freezes, TASK MANAGER! KILL HIM! Queen Deltarune when those gay teenagers get in her castle. I think Ryan Gosling and Daniel Craig are both evidence that if you do enough serious films, the second you're free to just be the silly guy you are on the inside, you can't help but commit 120% to the bit. Yes. Oh shit, they're getting on us. We gotta jettison some weight. Throw all those stolen boomerangs out. We don't need them. On it, boss. Bad news, boss! Self-depreciating thought. Self-depreciating thought. Self-depreciating thought. Hey! I have an amazing ace. I guess I'm not that bad, actually. Ghostbusters! Taking over! I'm... Virgin! Posts like this make me realize that I never read anyone's fucking URL. How fitting is it to hyperfixate on Gargura during Shark Week? <sighs> oh, no. If I were dating you, well, <laughs> let's just say horses wouldn't be called horses anymore. Hey, what the fuck does this mean? I'm shaking, what does this mean? Andy, help, what does this mean? Oh god, the horse has- Probably bad RPG ideas. Abruptly decide that rather than playing D&D, you're now playing X for some godforsaken reason. Is it ethical to slap someone for waking you up really early for no reason? Sir, it is unethical to not slap someone for waking you up early for no reason. Thank you, ethics stum. You know, Worried that squirrels were eating all the bird seeds, so we set up a camera. I don't think that's a squirrel. No, you can't seduce the fungus. Me, a tired DM. But I wanna... Perceive your Asian eagle owl chicks. The laundry is alive and it is angry. Oh, my God. This is why you clean the lint tray regularly. Gender? I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this anything? The Barbie movie reminded me how about when I was little, my parents were upset that I kept making my Barbie dolls kiss. So they bought me a Ken doll. The next day, they found me having a funeral for poor Ken of the garden. He had died of tuberculosis. All the Barbies were an attendee and I buried him under our rose bush. The Barbies were too poor to afford a headstone. It was 1875. So I didn't mark where the grave was and I never could find him again. He's probably still there. Gotta admit, a little terrified. My therapist doesn't like that I keep referring to my transition as my villain arc. Well then, what's the point? I feel like if you scream at an animal loud enough, it would simply explode. You know, I'm sure there is a science behind that based on, like, sound having some force behind it. Well, maybe. Probably. I don't know. Autistic people are so weird and emotionless. Cut to me feeling bad after impulsively smacking a bug. Oh my god, see? The freestanding lamb, $1,400. Only $1,400 to scare the shit out of yourself every single night of your life. That thing would move around during the night. Like, oh shit, where did the ball fondler go? Probably out to fondle, well, you know. Do not shove your card violently deep into the chip reader. Show some compassion. It has sensitive components that need tender love, not crazy wild animal strength. Thank you. Robot girl with booty sharks. Let's see this on the God, no. Yo, she let me hit it because I solved her riddles three. When my hot wrestler wife leaves me. Uh, oh, wrong post. No, 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 stay in this space with me. Talk. What's going on? Just remember the other day a teen approached me holding a rapidly melting chunk of ice in his hand and asked me if I wanted to buy a limited edition pet rock. <laughs> That's good. I like that. There needs to be a name for the opposite of Brobo. Like this is my Zinky. Every day I shoot him dead in my mind and feast on his corpse. You know, not to tempt Apollo and his magical gift of prophecy, but I get the sudden feeling this post might breach containment. Apollo, if you wish for my hand in marriage, get this post of 5k notes. This'll stop him. I know that says 18 hours ago, but I wonder if this was written before the idea of Glub Shido. A knife that gives you all of Clock Kent's superpowers. So, how I feel when I pick up a normal knife? So you mean to tell me I get all the powers of a mild manner reporter of a daily metropolitan newspaper? Oh boy, Pulitzer Prize, here I come! 
No, guys. Clock. Clock can't Superman. He's what? Cohen Dwee. With violent intentions. I still think one of the funniest experiences of my life was watching American Psycho with my sister, and afterwards we both went, okay, let's do something more lighthearted now, and put on the dub version of Hal's Moving Castle, and we both lost our minds when we heard Hal start talking. If you don't understand that joke, uh, Andy put up the credits for Patrick Bateman and Hal. Thank you. You know, reading the stars is actually quite easy when you think of him like a beautiful man and kiss him passionately on the mouth. What? New podcast pitch. Five friends crammed in a small shower to discuss topics, but if someone uses a secret word selected beforehand, the shower turns on for the rest of the podcast. Oh my god, that sounds evil. I asked my dad to make me a hot chocolate, and he's literally sawing something in the kitchen right now. Cutting down the cacao tree. Making the mug by hand. Installing a new stove to make it on. He's a good dad. Whoa, Pucky Joe, two posts in one 24-hour cycle? Things are heating up. I hope you brought your raincoat. Heating? Raincoat? How's that correlate? The weather can be two things. Good thoughts. Solar power. Bad thoughts. Yizma, main character of Emperor's New Groove fame, shouting, Pull the lever, crunk! every time I pass by a fire alarm. On the bright side, that's a fun voice to have for your intrusive thoughts. My boyfriend is a Marvel fan and I am a DC fan. Is this what Romeo and Juliet felt like? No, not even close. Did Vriska do anything wrong? Vriska is a fictional character. She never performed any actions at all. Therefore, she did nothing wrong. Vriska did nothing. Everyone's going on about Barbenheimer, but I'm doing my own dark and joy mix. Behold, Death Sponge. I heard a cardboard noise and turned around to find this. Um, fashion? Does anyone here remember that time Disney made a bad live action reboot of Beauty and the Beast and then decided that they should just <laughs> 3D scan Emma Watson's face to go on the bell dolls they made? Every time I remember this exists, I start laughing so hard I feel nauseous. <laughs> she looks like she's trying to pretend she's not high while talking to her son's homeroom's teacher. It looks like they just took the Hermione doll and put it on the bell figures. Pros of corded headphones. Can't lose phone, don't need to charge headphones. They look cool and are amazing. The cons of corded headphones. Every doorknob in existence is now out to get you. Yeah. TikTok has a special talent for finding the worst fucking songs you've ever heard in your entire life and making them trendy. I, I gotta admit, it's impressive. Secondhand embarrassment is pure agony, and I wish a lot of comedy didn't rely on it. I cannot deal with it. I have to literally leave the room. It's a sign of being extremely empathetic. Thanks, I hate it. How do I uninstall? Ugh. There's a fucking worm outside. I can't sleep with this noise. Here's my series of books written in sparkly gel pen. And I call it Glitterature. I feel like this is a thing Mabel Pines would say. I can go give fire to the ants, BRB. Update. It was a mistake. Going on gestosterone and changing my pronouns to he he he. Quite snarly, I'm a fan of he <laughs> It's quite a lot. So I stopped using Tumblr back in 2018. Did I miss anything important? The website is mostly trans women and wizards now. And both are recruiting. Parenthesis equals equals. AKA pickaxe emoticon for dwarves. <gasps> Is it time, Andy, to rock and stone? For rock and stone! A Twitch streamer calling for his mods is exactly the same as a king asking for his knights to execute someone. God, you know what they say? It kind of actually makes sense. Midwife? <laughs> no such thing. Fermenting in a butch honoring way. I meant femme, not fermenting. Call that kombucha. Stop being funnier than me on my own post. Perceive the long exposure picture of a plane taking off. The forbidden slide. People won't hate their work as much if there existed a door in their workplace that led them directly to their room. I like how the phrasing of this implies intent to create this door. 
nothing is worse than software that tells people when I'm online or when I read their messages or when I'm typing something. I always want to be as unknowable in my silence as God. <laughs> nice argument. However, I have monkeys at typewriters typing your IP out, dumbass. As soon as one of them gets it right, you're fucking dead. I love how castles are like a fairy tale staple and princesses live in them now. Those were military installations. The end of 4,000 years, the irradiated mice that inherit our world will tell stories about princesses living on aircraft carriers? I hope so. We've protected you from Facebook. Screenshots of hope and joy. Peace and love on planet Earth. I can fix him. Bro, he got 10 other girls trying to fix him. Y'all look like a construction crew. Going fair to think about how we have to pay for the privilege to not have to listen to non-stop sale pitches. What would your ancestors think of your whole gender thing? What would yours think about being told to buy things every two minutes? I think they would kill CEOs in the streets for being annoying. They were known to do that! Get your dirty dishes out of your room. I see those mugs. You got food wrappers and stuff on your desk, I swear. Clean your desk. That is your most powerful space. Only if you want to, though. I have no power over you. But if you do clean your space, you will feel a lot better. So if you can please do it, okay? Please? Okay, bye. I'm feeling a normal amount of emotions and can be trusted with the nuclear launch codes. G give them. Who are you? Why are you on my dash? I don't know. On an unrelated note, do you walk into stores and ask, What is this place? Why did I come in here? What happens to nitrogen when the sun rises? <laughs> it becomes daytrogen. I'm going to bed. And nitrogen. Sleep, nitrogen. Don't have the bed box. Nitrogen. I hate you. Life is like a home stock flash. Beautiful, unpredictable, fast, tragic. Carcat is there. And he's about to pop up on your screen right now. My process of making OCs. Are they lovers? Worse. I know we say this joke casually, but Neil Gaiman really is stronger than a U.S. Marine to leave his inbox open. Like, damn. I am not responsible for who I become when hyperfixating. I'd like to see your dignity hold up when flooded by 2,000% of your typical dopamine levels. <laughs> I, like, got this splatoon stuck in my ceiling and I'm not able to get it down. You're not gonna believe what object dislodged itself from the ceiling and began its descent to the floor, creating a loud, meaty slap sound upon impact, waking me up in the tender hours of the night. Andy, I hope you provided some sort of sound for big meaty slap. If you didn't, that's fine. I understand. Adam, I'll let you name the birds. Tit. Uh, okay. Booby. Stop naming them after breasts. Looks at Rooster. Don't. Behold, abandoned intersection near Ottawa on a 720 by 404 ratio. The Parliament of Traffic Lights will decide your fates. You know, the only reason we may dislike something is because it exists outside our comfort zone. And if we're able to experience something inside of it, we may enjoy it more. Sorry, there was a storm. Storms making me philosophical and shit. Now hold on. They're onto something. Have you ever slept so good that when you wake up, you temporarily forget how to walk? Y yeah. Girlhood is a spectrum. Yeah. Ah, yes. Hatsune Miku to Bernie Wrightson's Victor Von Frankenstein. A fine spectrum indeed. All right, chat. Where do you lie on this spectrum? Writing prompt. There is a forbidden type of magic out there. It isn't forbidden because it's inherently evil, or forces you to lose your humanity, or requires human sacrifices. It's just forbidden because it's annoying as heck to fight against. The power of friendship! And this gun. <sighs> Hello, August, you piece of shit. Why so open, the closer? Who the hell closed last night? The opener. Here's transparent salamander hand for you guys to blap against things. Blap. This is the greatest gift we have ever received. Andy, proceed to blap things at will. Parkinson! I'm trans. What do I do now?
You must journey through the western gates into the great unknown, past the black ridge, through the mires betwixt towering mountains, past the empty fields of gold that stretch on for miles, on horizons anew. But Pocky Tow said trans rights. I think. I said trans quest. All the bitches with prank YouTuber humor hate me for my firm boundaries and refusal to laugh at jokes that aren't funny. Well, looks like you're gonna have to name yourself I am based post. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. Man, if I saw an elf, nobody would be able to stop me. F from what? Nobody would be able to stop me. Holy shit, is that an elf? Writing prompt. She's a battle-scarred, jaded super soldier loaded with biomechanical upgrades and chemical augments. All she wants to do is wear cute clothes and paint. This is called being a trans girl. I think my favorite joke is a character saying something really suspicious, pausing, then going, uh, uh, or so I've heard. It's a good one. I had a dream that Joe Biden addressed the nation wearing a Miko robe like a Shinto princess. He was also visibly eight months pregnant. He didn't talk about that until the press asked him about it, to which he replied, I bear the child of a great spirit. As if, like, that was something mildly inconvenient, like getting stuck in traffic. Mission. Be normal about that thing. Status. Failed. So, do you want a brief explanation of what an acorn is? In a nutshell, it's an oak tree. I, I, I just, I just, I just need a minute. Writing prompt! A group of dragons get together to play offices and managers. Is this where the office came from? I put Dwight Stapler in Jello. Roll for sleight of hand. Me, a writer, staring at one sentence for ten minutes straight. I don't know what's wrong with you, but I don't like you. Everything will be okay. Shallow and dismissive comfort that establishes impossible goal an indefinite future away. In two weeks, you will have different problems. So true, bestie, the human experience. Yeah. Behold, a very powerful American toad creates ripples in water with his call. Those ripples are a telltale sign they are charging their beam attack. Um, excuse me. He's practicing his ham on. Pocket Witch, what time is it? <laughs> ah. Tis the witching hour. It's all fun and gay until you get a crush on her. Update, she's my girlfriend now. It's all fun and gay again. Wow. Incredible that Tumblr has persisted for long enough that it's become one of the least irritating social media platforms without becoming any less irritating. Good job. Babe, calm down. Why don't you go listen to a beautiful video game track powerful enough on its own to move you to tears? Maybe then you'll feel better. So true. Attention! We will now be rating your blobos, OCs, and other wretched things based on the six components. Slime, skeletons, sand, the secret component. Number seven, and soup. Use any scale you wish as long as they can be represented by saying X out of Y, with each item presented in any order except the one I just listed. Okay. There's a ton of shit you can get in life if you're willing to submit yourself to the mortifying horror of asking for it. <laughs> Professor, can I take this exam? A different time? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Am I the only one who takes a sip of Baja Blast and immediately thinks of the cinnamon twist from Taco Bell? Like, I'm almost positive there's some similarities in the flavor. Like, I, 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 it just can't be me, right? Right? Anyone? I think what you're witnessing is a uh, food memory anomaly, whereas by drinking or eating something from your childhood, it flips memories that you've had before with that. Or, you know, you could just be tasting the sugar in both things, but sure, go off, fam. The most Coco Malone shit I've ever experienced in my life was the time I was in calculus and some girl in front of me was Googling assorted animals and scrolling through pictures of clip art pigs and horses and shit on her laptop, completely focused like it was her tax form. I have asked you time and time again, yet you won't listen. 
So I'm giving you one last chance. And this time you'll know what happens if you ignore me. If you don't stop it with your Colwyn 3, I'm going to fold your clothes while you're still wearing them. Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Arrow Colwyn 3. You son of a- I'm afraid that I have the world builder's disease. And it is terminal. There's only one cure for this. Andy, slide a make your own D&D campaign over at them. Hey, question for writers. How do you do that? Putting her in charge of organizing the studio from now on. Good luck, Milkshake. Oh my god, look at the amount of stress on her face. What if there was a big kobold? And they had a small dragon friend. And they were in love. They're the same size. And they're the same size. The concept of characters being turned into something monstrous and destined for evil, but still choosing to be good and to do good things for as long as possible is a good trope. The best trope, really. All right, I'm going to need some examples on that. The croc instinctively carries its offspring in its mouth. And yet a trace of the true self remains in the false self. They hate me for being a slut. To be honest, and maybe also the killings too, but that's unlikely. Girls realizing they're a lesbian, call that a, call that <laughs> Eureka. I hate you. She thinks every package that arrives is for her. Hey, they are for her. Sometimes fan fiction is a love letter to canon. And sometimes fan fiction is pounding on Cannon's door and yelling it for it to get out here so you can kick its ass. You know, I always thought it was completely unrealistic that sitcom characters deal with a new conflict that should be easily solvable every week or so. And now as an adult, I absolutely understand now. Witness the cost of love. I, I, I don't see anything wrong. What cost is being shown? I, I zoom in? Yeah, I don't see anything. The toilets in this kebab restaurant making me feel like I've just joined CP underscore orange underscore restroom underscore X3. No way. Probably bad RPG ideas. You'd think dwarves would have a toxic masculinity problem, but they don't. They're resistant to toxins, you see. That's beautiful. And you write that down. That's a real me slapper. You think your crush is laying in bed thinking about you, but in reality, they're reading about swords on Wikipedia. Well, you were wasting your time considering me as a romantic option. I was studying the blade. Life hack. When you see a take one candy bowl in a restaurant, wait until no one's looking and shovel candy into your pockets. God may judge you, but his sins outnumber your own. God may judge you, but his sins outnumber your own. We really need to start collecting and sourcing these potent quotables. Me starting a new game. I'm gonna be evil this time. Me five minutes into said game. Being mean's not nice. Me after failing to be evil. I'm gonna look up the YouTube videos of that playthrough instead. Me looking at the videos. I can't watch this. Literally me every time with the Fable series. I lived in Taiwan for a time, and I saw monkeys swing on trees. Who asked? God has granted you the gift of knowledge, and yet you shun him! Delete you forever! <laughs> you still exist as metadata. Ah, oh, fuck. I've been erased, but my shadow still remains. Ah. <laughs> That's a nice starry-eyed ambition you got there, buddy. Sure hope the narrative doesn't warp it into something ruthless and all-consuming. Yeah, sorry, your boyfriend got brainwashed by the patriarchy. Yeah, he thought it meant horses run everything. Sorry. Thinking about that matte blue Scooby-Doo fruit snack. Look at that. Enigmatic. A mystery. Probably use drugs. Anyone else feeling the effects lately due to all the things? Bro, all the time. <laughs> Please. Untitled document was my father. Call me untitled document parentheses one parentheses. 
Oh my god, stop. Deactivating all my bones tonight for a little blob action. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Mr. Beast just cured me from being dead, but he hates how it turned out, so they didn't even upload the video about it. This is the plot of Frankenstein, I think. Please don't give Hollywood any ideas right now. Well, learning that self-depreciation isn't cool, and it just makes the people around you uncomfortable. Unironically, improve my mental health a lot. Like, if you just stop saying negative shit about yourself, you'll genuinely like yourself more, and other people won't be repulsed by your attitude, and you'll have more friends. It's true. I can state that for a fact. Kill them with kindness? <gasps> Wrong. Chain lightning. Kindness is the name of my arcane focus. Thank you. Scrappy-Doo has been found dead in Miami. Is he okay? He's all right, but he died. <sighs> Good. Probably bad RPG ideas. Turns out the great worm terrorizing the area is actually just three kobolds in a trench coat. Andy, do I even need to say it? I have vowed to never eat kiwi fruit again because a while ago I saw an ad for kiwi fruits on the TV that was just that annoying. That's a shame because kiwi fruit's like really good for you. And I'm not just saying that as a man who is 99% kiwi. I make mostly long posts, which is great because it gives me immunity from freaking PM Seymour, Oz Media, and all those other fuckers. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. Guess again, Andy. Elongate this post extremely long. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Tumblr is the Linux of social media. Why are you booing me? I'm right. Father Strange, are you going to try and get to Taylor Swift tickets for when she comes to Toronto? Hi, Anon. Thanks for the question. I would literally rather eat glass. Call me Osho the way I'm demanding a railing. Once again, I have been written out by HR. I'm heading to the store. Does anyone want anything? Soup. 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 Soup it is. I can't find it. There's only clothes. What do you mean there's only clothes? I can't find any soup. There's only clothes. We'll go to the next one. All right, got it. There's more clothes. What do you mean there's more clothes? I mean there's only clothes. Go to the next aisle. All right, just stop shouting. Where are you right now? I'm at the Hammerlock Boutique. Why are you buying soup at the Hammerlock Boutique? It's the first store I can find. Screw you. Screw you. Matrix themed drag persona called Neo Pronouns. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Good news, everyone! I found an app that helps you identify birds in your region by sound. It's this one. Thank you, I owe you my life. What is your darkest desire? I want to stare at someone from across the street that disappear when a bus passes. <laughs> I'm going to host a gender reveal party, but instead of revealing the gender of a child, I'll reveal whether this coin I flip landed heads or tails. Yes. Writing prompt. I can fix her, said the delusional computer scientist staring at the genocidal sentient supercomputer. I'm sorry, did you mean Gladys X Reader fanfiction? All fanfiction is funnier and sexier and vastly better writing when you read it at three in the morning in the dark, lying on your side, tucked in your bed with the screen rotate turned off. That's just how it works. That's just facts. I accidentally observed an object in the sunlight and became an art major. Ah, oh, gets you every time. Whoever decided to put eating sounds into ads needs to get fired. Out of a cannon! The talking mirror trope from fairy tales probably originated when a careless time traveler was seen using a smartphone or a tablet. Siri, Siri on my phone. How the fuck do I get home? Feeling the chronic pain today. Go to take painkillers, only to find out there's only one single Advil left. Silent all it is then, but I'm mad about it. I'm so sorry. Being asexual is that everyone on planet Earth is just is just some guy. You know how you feel looking at some random guy you pass by in the grocery store? That's everyone on Earth to me. Every time one of my friends intensely thirsts after someone, they show me a picture, and I'm just like, yeah, that's that's human being, all right. Sure is. Good. Discord users. So I put on invisible or do not disturb. You know, like a liar. It's okay. I do it too. Hi, Jessica. We saw your profile on Indeed and thought you would be a great match for the inexperienced minor opportunity. Please submit a quick application if you have any interest. 
Hello, person with a graphic design degree. We think you'd be great for it. Let me just see here. Dying in a coal mine. Please retire the we are made of stardust phrase. I am so tired of it. Stars are made of flesh. I changed my mind. Bring back the original phrase. No, no, it's too late. Stars are made of flesh now. So you can smile. You should do it more often. You have a pretty face for it. How about... No. Go forth and dungeon some dragons. Thank you, Wulu. Described going to sleep as shutting down my melting reactor core of a brain. Girl bossing hard AF. My mom, it's not really good to eat past sunset. Me, whose circadian rhythm is aligned with a nearby raccoon. Your rules don't apply here! Reblog this post with your weirdest ancestor's name. I had a great grandfather named Kermit Dickman. Why did you start a competition that you've already won? I mean, I can't top that, Andy, can you? And when a gay man and a lesbian hug, do they say no hetero? 511 notes, and none of them deserved. Daily quest! Play a funny trick on God! My funny trick is existing! Hate it. My brother said I'm built like an escalator. What does that even mean? You can't get married platonically. Marriage is about love and commitment. Yeah, love for the bit and commitment to the bit. I'm gonna do it. What's your next evil plan, evil snom? To take an evil nap, an EB. Short girls always want to fight. Y'all like mini batteries overflowing with energy because y'all bodies are too small to contain it. If only y'all had used it to grow instead. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't anyone show this to my wife. Reblog this and put your school's mascot in the tags. To clarify for all the non-Americans that are confused by this, a mascot is basically your school's fursona. <laughs> M my, mine was a bulldog. Be mindful of others. Oh, you're right. My mind is full of others. And they're all fictional. I had a rude-ass dream last night. Some disembodied voice said, Hey, you want to hear a funny joke? I am a fan of jokes, and do what voices tell me in my dream. So I say, yeah, sure. Then my 8 a.m. alarm goes off. Prick. <laughs> Holy shit. My brother started calling our cat Doobie Brother, which he then lengthened to Dubious Brother, and has since morphed into Brother Dubious. Like he's some sort of fucked up little monk. Probably bad RPG ideas. Run Doom on your Game Master. That didn't... I don't think that would work, would it? Well, mm -mm. Andy, come here. Hi, I'm auditioning for Macbeth, and I'll be singing I Just Can't Wait to Be King. Oh my god, what happened here? This is an eight-year-old post. Why is it getting notes again? You! <laughs> well, it's been a while since I've read some patch notes on the channel. Let's see what some video games and apps have been up to. And if you can guess which ones they are, let me know. And big thank you to r slash the strange log for these contributions. <clears throat> now. We feel that Risu is underperforming, so we let her run you over with a truck while you're on the ground. We also buff the consistency of her nuts. Fixed train honk not being rebindable and setting left mouse button to move forward, making the train always honk. A crash relating to asking someone for a job after setting them on fire. NPCs puking perpetually. Too many design updates, UI improvements, and bug fixes to count. Actually, we could count them, but they were seriously like 20 or 25, so we didn't. Stopped cats from dying of alcohol poisoning after walking over damp tavern floors and cleaning themselves. Reduced effect. Good. Told the Wasteland good boy that he is indeed a good boy. They're making me release notes for food. This is my only way to communicate with the world. They wanted me to tell you there are heaps of new awesome features, but it's all lies. They simply changed a couple of strings in one of the localizations. I'm crying for help. Save me. Save me, please. Steve. Jason throwing knives at cars no longer causes catastrophic rocket cars. Jason morphing to the car no longer causes catastrophic rocket cars. Catastrophic rocket cars are non-canonical and should be regarded as such. No, it's too late. They cannon. Literally, coming at you like a cannon. Soldiers don't shout hooray anymore when under shelling. Fix Santa trying to become skeleton. Let him. Fixed in issues where players could respawn into the void, instantly bringing an end to their feeble attempts to survive this activity at master difficulty. Sounds like skill issue. 
Skeletons are no longer in a celebratory mood when emerging from coffins. Fixed being able to eat some buckets. Fixed being able to cast Charm Person on yourself. No more self-love. Liam will no longer run away while unconscious. Reduced temperature by three degrees. Who touched the thermostat? Fixed bug where a ranger on Route 7 was so startled by the nuclear Gyarados that they changed gender. Please let Gyarados say trans rights. Resolved an issue where searching for profanity in the challenge browser would immediately crash the game. No swearing for you, you naughty boy. <clears throat> Hi. Consider this our farewell letter. Yes, we are leaving quite soon. No, we had no idea we'd be found out so fast. Some pesky developer who had too much coffee, or passion in her veins, discovered us late one night, hiding, and resolved us immediately. Hence, we are no longer part of your cred experience. Sadly, this means you will enjoy cred even more. To our incredibly short romance. Bugs and errors. And the last one, and it's a bit of a humdinger. <clears throat> Penises C and D no longer clip through some gif Yankee clothing. What a shame. Gator? <laughs> More like... Pridey sense! My spider sense is tingling. If it's any consolation, as soon as the thought formed, I took psychic damage myself. Ah, good. Big, deadly, terrifying monsters treating their human lovers with an adoring sort of gentleness. It's very personal to me. Yo, my coworker sleeps all day. Should I report them to HR? No, no, no. Let them be. Choose wisely. Only one of them is the real Splinky Blinky. <laughs> all right, all right, I got this, I got this. It's the one on the far left. The entire point of life is to be silly, kind, and really weird, by the way. In at least 42 different really weird ways. Why the flip do people draw Wheatley as the human twink in Portal 2 animations? His design already mastered expression with just one eye and some handles. And you just ruin it by turning him into j j just a guy. Stop it. Clicks on a blog. Minecraft YouTuber, do not interact. Sad Ed with Bindle.jpg. Just learned about history. Appalled. Hmm, garlic bread. What if when vampires eat garlic, they actually just turn back into humans? And asexuals are just vampires who made a choice. Wait. You're in her DMs? <laughs> well, I'm in my jammies. Good night. Nothing beats the feeling of finally checking out a classic piece of media you've heard about thousands of times, and after you're done, you're just like, damn, they weren't lying. My favorite flavor of info dumping is explaining how to play a game to someone. Oh my god, same, it's the best. Breaking news, Little Nas X to rebrand as Little Nas Twitter. All right, hold on, hold on, Little Nas X. If you're out there, and in the God-given chance you're watching this video right now. Do this. Please. It'll be funny. Hmm, pretty cool how you went on a heroic journey to gain the power needed to defeat me. Unfortunately, I was on a cooler villainous journey. <laughs> yeah, we caught your boyfriend pondering the orb. Yeah, he was chanting in the forbidden tongue too. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so people generally have at least a vague idea of what Mother Nature looks like as a character. But consider this! Mother Nature on alien planets. Hold up! That is an amazing idea! Are you okay? No! There are literal fictional bitches in my head! And they're kissing! Andy, make them stop! One, two, summon my ghoul. Three, four, summon some more. Five, six, wizardly tricks. Seven, eight, disintegrate. Nine, ten, I'll do it again. Booby traps? Sure, I would easily fall into a trap if I saw boobs. You know, despite being interviewed individually, all four gave the exact same response. Huh. Ah, oh, I see you're trapped in my gay and stupid maze again. Congratulations, Jamie 78 Omega Selena blog. This is officially the funniest post I've ever seen on Tumblr. Andy, bust out the confetti. It's over. It's done. We did it. Funniest post alive. Woo! All right, let's be serious for a second. Basic rules for analyzing fiction. An incomprehensive list jotted down in a hurry. One, the protagonist isn't always right. Two, the protagonist isn't always good. Three, the protagonist isn't always written to be relatable or likable. Four, 
the narrator isn't always right. Five, the narrator isn't always good. Six, the narrator isn't always telling the truth. Seven, the narrator isn't always the author. Eight, a protagonist's moral compass, the narrator's moral compass, and the author's moral compass are three entirely different things that only occasionally overlap. Nine, pay attention to what characters do and not just what they say. Ten, pay special attention when what the characters do is at odds with what they say. Eleven, a lot of the time the curtains are blue for a reason. If they aren't, you should read better books. And one more. 12. The antagonist isn't always telling the truth. So many times I have seen people apparently just forget that it's possible for fictional characters to be mistaken or lying and say things like, we know this is true because characters said it so here, or worse, the fact is canon because characters said it. The antagonist isn't always telling the truth. The protagonist isn't always telling the truth. The secondary and minor characters aren't always telling the truth. The narrator may be telling the truth, but if the narrator is also a character in the story, then don't count on it. Let me put it to you this way. You know that one person in your life that likes to tell a lot of exaggerated stories and you have to sometimes sit there and wonder if they're true or not? Apply the same rules to a written piece of material because sometimes... It could be constructed that way. Cool, cool. All right, moving on to the silly shit. Thinking of going to the convenience store? Anyone want anything? Give me a... Things are about to become a lot less convenient if you don't talk. You're not supposed to drink water. It makes you pee. Listen to your body. It's trying desperately to get rid of it. This is how anti-vaxxers argue. Lamael. I am the problem here. I am fully aware. But I made the decision to inflict me on everyone else. The best quote I heard in a long time. I want to live by this. Schrodinger's cat is so last year. Meet Oppenheimer's cat. He is become death. Or is he? Being a fan of a character is sometimes... Look how complex he is. He's so intricate and his story is so tragic and he's so much more complicated than people give him credit for. And sometimes it's like, yeah, look at this failure of a person. I want to throw him off a cliff and see what happens. Andy, put up your two characters that meet these qualifications. What an autistic person says. How long is it going to take? What they mean. I want to know whether to activate my short-term waiting mode where I just wait and do nothing else, or activate my long-term waiting mode where I occupy my mind with something else. I fully understand that both are possibilities, and I have no problem whatsoever with either one, but I want more information so I can best adapt to the situation. What neurotypical people here? I am impatient and I demand everything I want happen right now. Please scold me and publicly humiliate me for it. Did, did you get that? I still can't get over how broken my humor is. I need my Google Drive and my Chrome bookmarks bar car. Maybe because you drive a car. Melon pie, stop! It's the funniest joke I've heard all day. It fucks me up that Tolkien only died in 1973. Dude had this vibe of a Victorian scholar who wrote all his manuscripts by candlelight, but then you look him up and realize he knew what color TV was. What the fuck? He saw the moon landing. Tolkien had personal beef with the Beatles. He actively encouraged Led Zeppelin to write songs based on the Lord of the Rings series and considered it an honor. It's funny because I have that exact same relationship with Pablo Picasso. Like, I keep thinking he's like a 1700s painter. No, not even close. He also died in 1973. Top hats imply the existence of a bottom hat. Cat ears? <laughs> I fucking can't with you guys anymore. I, I gotta I gotta stop here. I just I just can't. Ohio gozaimas, gamers. Let's look at some more patch notes, shall we? Fixed a server crash caused by sniper trying to eat his gun. Switching the sniper while heavy is eating a sandwich. Well, that one's clearly Overwatch. You will not be able to flex that you have a famous singer on your crew if the station you're talking with already knows that. Oh, rips that one friend who likes to name flex. Bots no longer linger in slime or lava for too long. Aw, they just wanted to swim. Emma will no longer become trapped in an execution animation in unusual circumstances. Good for her. Fixed an issue where Axe Boy's costume Edward would abnormally display a shovel in certain parts of the room. Gave Frank a bow tie. 
added cinema icon. The bow tie was so good they had to make a movie about it. Fix the problem where platforms could push you onto the map. Now, they instantly kill you instead. How realistic. You can now swim and drown. Change terrain generation slightly. Adjusted some difficulty curves. Slightly harder. Mobs hopefully shouldn't face through objects too much anymore. Good, because the goblin poking its head out of the wall? Extra terrifying. Players who have previously shared their wisdom may now choose violence. You know, and you just have the one person in your life who keeps asking for advice and then refuses to follow said advice. Fixed issue where we would send out debug notifications to users. You don't have to worry about it anymore because we successfully debugged our debug bug. All arms were previously being displayed in Eastern Standard Time. Apparently there are these things called time zones. Midnight in Montreal is no longer midnight in Paris. Shout out to the British Longitude Act of 1714 for making this possible. Good job, England. Removed stupid 20,000 bookcase achievement. Every book nerd in the room is crying right now. I fixed a fix which was supposed to fix a fix while fixing it. It's fixed. Welcome to Game Dev 101. Be less aggressive with Mega Honk Fix. Fix the Mega Honk. Rip Mega Honk. I have a really distinct feeling this is about the Goose game. Fix an issue that sometimes caused an ink spray animation to play when a player changed into swim form midair. Hmm. This post feels a little... <gasps> Woomy. Redid all the map collision, hopefully fixing all Dire Orb and Peeker exploits, and fixing the uncomfortable ramped walls. Except in the foggy cooldown tunnel where it's expected. Oh, good. The tunnel's completely unaffected. Reduce the chance of the WOOHOO VO from 10% to 5%. Hey man, he was just having a good time. Seal will now select a random skin every time it teleports to the break room. Three possible skins. I'm imagining an actual seal and probably not what this is about. Please let us know if for some reason the game still doesn't work. <laughs> Me. Everyone's entitled to their opinions. If someone likes a piece of media I don't, more power to them. Someone else. Voices a negative opinion about something I like. Me. <laughs> BRB is go squish my dog's face and tell him he's my sweetest little baby boy. I highly recommend this. It's very therapeutic. Growing up is realizing that oats and grains are indeed sustenance. <laughs> what do you mean? Now we get into the truly horrifying part of the book. The lawyers. Oh, God, no. Gordon Freeman should be real, but I think Valve is too scared to make it happen. <laughs> Wimps. I've given it a lot of thought, and honestly, no more thinking from now on. I agree. Andy, just put up a gif of your favorite character from Baldur's Gate 3. There we go. That's what everyone's thinking about now. An app where you record a DVD logo or other logo bouncing for like five seconds, and then an AI calculates when it'll hit the corner. See that right there? That's a good use of AI. I'm so sad. I have to find a different caffeine juice wakey water because coffee sends my milk bags to the abyss. Are you... Are you making a joke about coffee not being able to call me tits? Is that, is that what we're doing here? Is that what we're doing right now? Gay women are allowed to do whatever. She blew up a planet. Okay, and your homophobia is showing. Lesbians can't blow up the planet. That's evil. No matter their sexual orientation. No, no, it's fine. Another gray post sent directly from God. The Jedi accountant. I see Qui-Gon purchased one, uh, boy on Tatooine. Wait, that can't be right. Excuse you. He won him in a bet. A bet. On blood sports, the child was participating in <laughs> to, to help him out. <laughs> it's totally normal. Oh my God, George Lucas wrote this. J.K. Simmons playing J. Jonah Jameson in every timeline has to be one of the funniest running gags I've seen in a movie. Anyone can be Spider-Man, but there can only be one J. Jonah Jameson. I am waiting for the day Matt Pat makes a film theory about J. Jonah Jameson being like the central hub for every Spider-Man to cross in. Tell me you wouldn't watch that. Why would you even drop acid? People are gonna slip on it and hurt themselves. 
Only drop acid if you can neutralize it get by dropping the base. I... I finally understand dubstep. Friendly reminder that he... He... He, he what? He. Was I not clear? Look at him. A little girl who grows up thinking all doors are automatic, but actually she's haunted by a really polite ghost. Ah, so chivalry is dead. You win best response on this post. Congratulations. You get one single confetti. This guy can't even read. What is he doing? Teaching him to read. How else will he learn? Just don't try to teach craps how to read. That's forbidden knowledge. Everyone drink water right now and reblog to keep the hydration gang chain going! Fucking make me. Alright. Andy? Release the floodgate. Hey, yo, hey, Tumblr! W what's tumbling? That that's a thing we say, right? That's all my OCs through the most gut-wrenching trauma ever experienced by man. <laughs> Lovingly. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I do this? My buddy lives in China, so when the sun is setting for him, it's rising for me. So naturally, I sent him this. God says it's my turn with the sun. You should be the bigger person. Absolutely not! I'm cursing his entire bloodline. I've inquired as to why SNES titles aren't available for the 3DS, and Nintendo only sent me this image in response. Ow. Wonder what the origin of the sitcom episode B-plot is. Probably the Odyssey. Oh man, I love when they do that. I like that episode of Seinfeld with George Costanza running over a bunch of pigeons. Totally happened to Homer and Odyssey. Absolutely ripped from it. The clover has finally grown enough for her to munch on again. Absolute decadence. Imagine a kindly giant of unknown species and origins just picking you up and carefully placing you in a pile of chicken nuggets. He'd be my best friend forever. Writing prompt. A cruel prank by your bullies leaves you separated from the rest of your class. Instead of finding your way back, you decide to go missing and let the consequences catch up to him. Hey, um, I'm pretty sure that's happened. Didn't go well. Ah, oh, being on Tumblr is just waiting for a friend to wake up, huh? Yep. One time I dreamt I was angry that everyone drew Wheatley from Portal as a solid blue twink. I then went to sleep, and when I woke up, the nearby town was on fire. I filmed the squirrel. See, boys and girls and nons, that is why you don't draw Wheatley as a twink. And if you do it one more time, Annie's gonna get the bat. Do you have any acting experience? I acted like I was straight for 18 years. <laughs> that was good. Turn the other cheek. <laughs> Wrong. Heavy artillery bombardment. Water, earth, fire, air. Finally, California has become the avatar of natural disasters. <laughs> Why do you guys write this? Things I hate in video games. Looking for the path that goes up the mountain. Spitefully just walks against the mountain and continues to do so until I'm glitching into it so hard that the game crashes. Things I also hate. Scaling the fucking mountain for an hour only to see the path was right fucking beside you the entire time when you reach the top. Skyrim. I swear to God, the girl next to me in the bus had her air buds so loud, I could hear the Megalovania kazoo cover that she was oh so stoically listening to. She's just trying to get in the zone, man. Though I was born a male, I identify as female. Although, according to the chip bag, I am an entire fucking party, so there's that. Don't you just hate it when your brain gives you a bunch of really great ideas for a new story, but they're all late end game ideas with the necessity of a lot of story behind them for full effect? But when you try to come up with point A to point B, your brain just kind of goes, that was resembled. Minecraft is so much fun. This post is about lesbian sex. It needs to be a fantasy world where the theme setting is something called punk punk. And no matter what you think it is, you're wrong. PM help, I think I'm being followed by bots. They have real people icons that aren't bad selfies. Run. Writing prompt. The fourth little pig built his house out of wolf skulls. It wasn't very sturdy, but it sent a message. Sounds like a house that peanut butter gamer would build in like oblivion. Speaking of oblivion, you want to know my favorite spell? Chuck fast, tickle nuts!
I mean, I'm not gay, but $20 is $20. Is just capitalistic gay. I find it to be enterprising gay. I keep seeing this post, not gonna lie, it's really opened my understanding of popular media criticism to realize how often people are probably reacting to characters being weird as failed attempts to depict people who are normal. Huh. Imagine dying. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> I'm just built different. Bad news, lads. How come nobody raps about the Master Emerald anymore? Because it's safe on Angel Island. It's a sign that Knuckles is at peace. Echidnas only rap in stressful environments. God, everyone knows that. Andy, you knew that, right? You deserve someone who texts you boring little details of their day just so they have a reason to talk to you. You're so right. Devastating news. The lyric you've been mishearing is better than the real one. Say it isn't so. Stop speedrunning my tower, you ingrates! You aren't giving me enough time to reset the traps and heal my minions! We're unionized, I'll have you know! When in old movies, bisexuality is used to show corruption and the highest level of depravity, I'm honestly like, yay! Literally me and my OCs. I cannot believe Pam Seymour read the Brother Dubious post and included neither of the pictures. Where's the picture of the OG Brother Dubious? Where's the really cool drawing of Brother Dubious in the robes? I want to call him an amateur, but that word derives from the loves of one work. And clearly PM loves nothing if he is willing to deny his audience Brother Dubious himself. PM Seymour, if you see this, you bitch, give your audience the gosh damn pictures, or at least the OG pictures of Brother Dubious. I will personally think to pay for his crimes, he should ask the OP for more photos of Brother Dubious to show, or give me a pound of flesh. You know, just for that, I'm not giving you the pictures at all. Have fun. I got you a pound of flesh right here. Taking Beastrogen to become a wretched creature. Taking testosterone to become a nasty nuisance. Taking both at once to instantly turn yourself into a coyote. Now, before you say, I love insert male character here, he is so pathetic and scrunkly, ask yourself, is he really pathetic or is he just short? You <laughs> shut your goddamn mouth. Daily quest, identify five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can fuck. Me reading this children's book to a baby. Well, that doesn't seem right. Hey, now that Charles Montenay is no longer going to be voicing Mario, sh sh should we get PMC more to do it? Uh, that's not really how it works. But but just for fun, just for fun, I'll, I'll, I'll give it an attempt. I'll give an attempt. <clears throat> hey, it's -a me, Mario. D -l -d Let's -a go. Wahoo. That's the right voice, right? Self-recognition through alarming pieces of media. I should go talk to somebody. Behold, spotless giraffe, thought to be the only one in the world, born at Tennessee Zoo. <sighs> spotless baby giraffe. I summon tall deer in attack mode. Kona Bawa. Gamers. Got home last night and got way too excited to see my cat. Excuse me, that seems like the appropriate amount of a way to be excited about your cat. Look at that baby. My toddler is three years old and won't eat anything other than fine porterhouse steaks and sweet port wine. Bah! You need to discipline your child. Port is a horrible choice for a main course and wildly clashes with a rich bianets. Dude, he's three. Men and cultured. Get a new child. Just throw it away in the trash. I thought Homestuck was finally defeated. You made the rookie mistake of turning your back on the body. And now Nepita is in your house. The thing about adulthood they don't tell you is that it takes a special task force and 15 spreadsheets to get a gang of four together for one day. It's true, it takes our gang to do a meetup of D&D &D every two weeks live on Andy's stream. Andy, put up a whole episode in the span of one second right now. PM Seymour compelled me to join Tumblr over a year ago, and I'm still trying to think of anything to say. Well, congratulations. You made the first step. I don't think fish are aware of the Nintendo GameCube, sorry. They're very aware of the Dreamcast, though. 100% the Saturn and the PlayStation, too. But the GameCube? Not so much. You think they would, it almost looks waterproof. Pop-Tarts or ravioli, stop! 
Andy just slapped this post out of existence. Peggy Chow, why do you delay your posts all the time? I do it sometimes. I did it a lot today, though, because I was in a mood, okay? I bet he's going to delete this one. You know, just because you said that, I will fully dedicate myself to memorializing this post forever. We will all be dust and bones, and the shitty-ass post will loom above our graves. Never ending. And now I'm just doing my part by keeping it immortalized in a video. Hey, if I don't physically talk to you for a little bit, please know I am not mad at you. My mouth is just in pain and I don't want to make it worse. Gets a heart reaction on my art in a Discord server and my confidence goes like this. Yeah, 400 notes is nice, but have you ever gotten eight heart emojis and a yo in an art channel before? Pure bliss. Let's be honest, when a game console says press any button, most people still press the star button. I knew someone who pressed the Z button. I feared them. And now the bisexual manifesto. <clears throat> we are tired. How can you eat the fried hearts of something that once was alive and had a beating heart? Do you feel any guilt? I hope you do. Please Google what an artichoke is. Writing prompt. Humans are the least intelligent species on Earth. The entire animal kingdom plays along out of pity for our idiocy. It's not even a writing prompt. I think this is actually true. I don't know. Have you seen orange cats? I'm pretty sure that is legit stupid. To my wife, I says, The people deserve more than Supersonic's eyes just turning blue. And she says to me, The people deserve affordable health care, but that doesn't mean they get it. And when I say I was stunned silent, You have a wife? Transgender Shadow the Hedgehog! I'm sorry you found out this way. Damn. Not here. You gotta be as gay as possible on the computer. Otherwise, Alan Turing died for nothing. Do it for him. Someone just requested a 30 to 50 second sketch animatic for $10. Throws a couple of nickels at you. Draw, peon. Entertain me with your scraplings. And make sure the male titties be fat. My wife was complaining about the price of peanut butter at the snooty grocery store, and I said, yeah, it's nuts. And now she won't answer my texts. I present exclamation marks, but instead a huge line of them, we do like Roman numerals of them. You know, to save space. I love when fic writers who have clearly never tried any kind of alcohol in their lives try to write someone drinking because they're always like, he ordered a tall glass of hard liqueur. After three large glasses, he was feeling tipsy. Like, baby girl, I can't be sure, but I think you just sent this man to the hospital. The amber liquid tasted sweet. Bestie, I can assure you it did not. He drank the large glass of cheap whiskey in a single shot. No, he did not. Genre of character. Big angry southern woman who will break all of your bones. Andy, oh my god, this post was made for you. God, I hope she steps on me. Can someone please tell me why people sometimes screenshot posts and put them underwater? To the ocean with you. Lameo, get doxxed! That's not even the Milky Way! Who the fuck do you have beef with, OP? Wouldn't you like to know? The alternative girl with pathetic boyfriend thing has to end. Hi, I run a small Etsy business selling replica Scott Pilgrim cosplay items. You're personally hurting my livelihood by saying this. Think about the effects your words have on others. <laughs> That's good. You're not a crustacean, so you can never become crab no matter how hard you try. I beg to differ. Andy, turn me into a crab. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff, man. I like when men have long hair. It's nice. Gripping steel in my hand with so much force that it's visibly starting to warp and bend. Terrorsexuals in a tree. S I T T I N G. Please call the fire department, we are stuck. Scored a new cat couch at the thrift store. Now the question you have to ask yourself is, is the couch tiny or the cat large? Explain your reasoning and explain how you got your answer. And other similar things are the worst things. Don't make me explain myself, I don't know. You taught me how to do it, you should know. Tell me. Why did they call her Batwoman? Batman was right there. Oh my god, Grimace, you're a genius. Anyone know of any large cracks in the ground that leak 
powerful psychoactive hallucinogens. Thinking of uh, becoming an oracle, you know. Guys, I plugged my power bank into itself and now it's charging itself. It was on 49% and now it's on 51%. Did I break science? It's funny because I'm pretty sure those power banks are supposed to have a fail safe to prevent you from doing that, but also at the same time. Which? Just watch the Barbie movie. Love me some. Accidental cosmic horror. Ugh, not all cops. You're right. Hank from Detroit Become Human would have quit a long time ago, but he was written by a French white man. He was doomed by the narrative. Behold the bisexual spectrum. Is this spectrum most to least canonically bisexual? Yes. Oh my god, this eyeliner my mom made me wear is not smear proof. I look like a rejected member of MCR. Are you... are you saying you are not okay? The homeowner said the buck shows up every day, so they gave him a bed too. Oh my god. I love him. People who have been dehumanized and go, fuck you, I'm a human no matter what you say. And people who have been dehumanized and go, fine that I'm not a human and I'm happy with that, are equally awesome and should hold hands. They should kiss. Bread is bad for you. Rice is bad for you. Sorry, I'm not subscribing to the idea that staple grains that have been integral to cultures for centuries are evil. I love you, Carbs. You have not betrayed humanity once. Using the group chat as a diary is my favorite activity. It's like having a diary that talks back. Yes, I am part of the LGBT lean age gluten binge turtles. Queerdles in a half shell. Oh wait, I have something to give you. The heebie-jeebies has been added to your inventory. Let's take it back. My girl straight up ascended and grew wings. Well, that's a fun way of saying she died. Police asking witnesses to make a <laughs> to make a picture of the suspect. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Reblog if you are extremely burnt out despite also feeling like you've done nothing worthwhile at all with your life. Millennials reblog. Got it. Probably bad RPG ideas. Vicious mockery, but you use it as an excuse to brutally roast your game master. <gasps> I would never do that because if I did, Andy would tell me to immediately roll for another character. Maybe. Goyles will leave comments like goals, but when you see it, it's a picture of Joan of Arc being burned at the stake. God forbid women do anything. We should all have the ambition to cast the English out of our lands. I'm going to move on to the next post immediately, okay? Okay. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I would, pussy. I'm not gonna sink to their level. I will, coward. I'm the bigger person. I'm 153 centimeters tall. Give me the gun, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> she slash her blocked and unfollowed. What the hell? <laughs> just, <laughs> just the last fucking image. I, I can't with you guys anymore. <laughs> what the hell? MCU voice. Um, guys, you might want to see this. Camera pants to a beautiful, breathtaking sunset awash with pink and orange light. Well, that just happened. Behold, garlic girl. Seeing OP's URL killed me immediately. Posts that invoke the feeling of being told to look down only to find out you're standing over a newly painted X on the ground. I think that's Wario's waifu. How many Apple engineers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They no longer make the socket, you just buy a new house. <laughs> Alright Jeff, you win, that's good, I like that. One time I dreamt Neil Gaiman started a Let's Play channel titled Neil Gaming in order to market a new book. I feel like he would. Why does everything sucks? Sucking's not that bad. That's what vampires do and they're awesome. Well, they're so beautiful through your eyes. Being blocked by a deactivated blog is like being repelled by a magical ward on an ancient tomb. Well, not really. No, no, no. It's like that. Do you respect the grind? There is nothing I disrespect more than the grind. Feeling very unethical today. Might spread hate. Here, Puckett Show, allow me to help you. 
to start the chaos. <clears throat> Baldur's Gate 3 is only okay. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta run from Andy at high speeds. What the f- What the f- Baby girl, I can waste time I don't even have. Like yours. Is he, uh, you know, open to interpretation? I read this as open to operation. I was like, oh, we're dissecting him now. Initially, I read this as open for inspection, like a house for sale. I read this as penetration and was like, what a pretentious way to say bottoming. Anyway. I thought this said open to impregnation, which is like, is he? I read this as open to operation. I was like, oh, he's trans. Read this as open to penetration, which, hey, nobody on this website can read. You know, maybe the he open to interpretation was the post itself, and he's been interpreted badly. Sorry for not posting much. They only let me out twice a month. Let you out of what, Miku? Zip file. If someone in your life is getting top surgery, you can tell them breast of luck on the procedure. Thank you, Grammis. I have deduced what Trump meant when he marked his hair strawberry blonde in his arrest form. I hope I can trust you with this. No! Do not. Don't. Just, just don't. Don't. What do you call a campaign about the heist of an alchemist emporium where you need to obtain just under a dozen magical elixirs? Potions 11. That's not really a bad RPG idea, that's just... That's just a joke, but also, you son of a bitch, I'm in. A five-year-old boy invited his entire kindergarten class to witness his adoption. Hell <laughs> showed up. <laughs> so cute. I mean, on one hand, yes, shipping SpongeBob characters is certifiably absurd, and people who do it do not deserve rights. But on the other hand, if you took SpongeBob and Squidward's personalities and dropped into, I don't know, say, a pair of anime girls from a gotcha game, or two white guys from a teen drama, everyone would be like, oh, of course, this is a big ship. I'm glad to see everyone reading this post is just as upset as I was when I thought of it. I hate that they're right. I wish some pop-punk icon had a brand of headphones. Like, Dr. Dre had beats, but we need, like, Patrick Stump or someone to make that. To be honest, I thought that's what Skull Candy was. What if bread is called pain in French because it is a pain to eat it dry? Benoit syndrome. Instead of brain, there is Benoit. Like this. That's my brain right there. Pocky Cho, running in an inbox turned in confessional booth must be wild. Yeah, you confess your sins to me instead of seeking forgiveness, I tell you to fuck off. In the days of the final light, when the last sun turned to coal, when the life of all forgot the warmth, I can assure you, Waffle House will still be open. God, it's so true. I'm the Joker if he was nice. The Bugs Bunny. <laughs> That's cute. You think Bugs Bunny is nice? Daily quest. Transform rice and noodles into maggots and worms. They're not the same things? All right, that's it. I've had enough of this carb slander. Andy, cast him into the void. Ladies, gentlemen, fancy non-binaries. Spooky season has begun. Commence the dance of our people. Free my man! He only did some of that! And free my woman, she did all of it, but I don't care! Can I have a... a burger? No, but you can get a... out of the Starbucks. Get out? People talking about Australia. <laughs> Australia? <laughs> Andy, do it over. People talking about Australia like they do Japan and Korea. Ugh, this reminds me of Bluey S2 E3 so bad. Imagine growing up Australian and having fairy bread and pass the parcel at birthday parties. It's so crikey core. I never want to hear those words ever again. So I was looking at 2011 in paleontology and apparently this year we discovered this awful shark that is wider than it is long. Why? I love this thing. Can we pretend that airplanes and the night sky are like stupid sharks? I could really use a fish right now, fish right now, fish right now. You never realize how basic you are until you say what you're eating out loud. I said, mm, mm, mm. 
Mm, tea and porridge, only to realize that my ancestors would be proud of me for not taking risks. Tea and porridge good, though. Writing prompt. Write why Tumblr should delete Tumblr live as soon as possible. It's bad? Guy who has never heard of Batman and thinks the Joker is a perfect name for a friendly, silly guy. <laughs> He's just, he just committed some top foolery. It's fine. Ugh. All this bottom rights and top rights discourse. You fools. Where's my support for Switches? <clears throat> Support.nintendo.com. The person that designed television sets with no power buttons must have an animatronic's teeth lodged in their frontal lobe. Ha ha ha! That's a, that's a video game reference. But I also can't believe that a sentence like that is a video game reference. Daily quest! Kill an enemy while using hammers! Hi, I used a golden frying pan and the quest was still completed. Do, where, where do I submit the bug report? Hot tip. You can befriend an autistic girl by info dumping to her about your current hyperfixation or special interests. Or by letting her info dump. This is true. This is how I get friends. Ugh, magical girls be like, I'm gonna save the world! Then only save the lesbian they like and leave the rest of the world to burn. That's because lesbians are the world to me. Why do I feel like this is about Madoka Magica? Listen, I don't remember Kanan, but I have a very strong opinion about everything. Christians about the Bible. When I was a child, I used no tears shampoo, and it got into my eyes, and I cried. And that's when I knew there was something fundamentally wrong with me. Why did you make me cry, Johnson and Johnson? Why? They are selling this shit at my local Walmart, and this is the most cursed product I have ever laid eyes on. People who make posts like this wouldn't last two hours in the Deep South. I literally live in southern Louisiana. Probably bad RPG ideas. The halfling language should be called small talk, send tweet. Stop! That is amazing. I need this to be real now. <laughs> just, just got a copy of Mario Sunshine for the secret new Nintendo system called Big Big GameCube. It's a GameCube, but but bigger. Miyamoto says I can only have one because I, I'm a special boy. Yeah. Oh, okay, I lied. That's just a normal GameCube disc. Uh, wizard shrunk me to mouse size as punishment for being alive. Someone please help me. Being an adult is just saying to yourself, "This is the weekend. I'll clean my ex." And then proceeding to not do that because it's the weekend and you deserve to relax, goddammit! Why does this have 85k notes? Because we were blogged it instead of cleaning our ex. Y you're right. No, seriously, go clean your ex before Andy vibe checks you like so. Ha sorcerers, nepo babies. Wizarding council debate adjourned after a level 9 fireball loosed in the forum. Guess that answers that question. If I, five foot four, can't fit in a tub without raising my legs, the designer should be banned from making tubs for the rest of their life. That is 100% a fact. The part of adulthood that nobody prepared me for was how some nights you're like, you know what, I'm in the mood to cook a full 12 course meal for myself. And other nights you're just like, tortilla chips are basically an entire meal, it's fine. Hey, is the moon just the sun's Luigi? 10,000 wizards locked in magical debate. See, knowing that a lot of people like Luigi and a lot of people like the moon, this makes sense to me. Heartstopper, uh, no thank you, I need that one. For blood, also living, but mostly blood. Methinks is like the funniest, most underutilized word ever, and I can't think of any other word that's so scientifically formulated to piss you off. Methinks, therefore, me am. Found another idiotic accounting mistake from my predecessor that I have to fix, and I was like, Will the specter of that man's incompetence ever cease to haunt me? And my coworker was like, Why are you talking like that? Anyone ever get the urge to stop being a real person and start screaming providential mystical statements? Y yeah me, me neither. I am the winds how the stars burn with my rage and shine with my passion. The moon glows with my pain. I am the world and its soul. Bow before my presence. Reminder to world builders, don't get caught up in things that aren't important to the story you're writing, like plot and characters. Instead, try to focus on what readers actually care about. Detailed plate tectonics. Alternatively, parts of the magic system that might not ever get mentioned. I know.
start a new career and get familiar with the inner workings of an industry so you can write your stories about girls working at job and kissing when they shouldn't. <laughs> How did you feel when Homestuck ended, James? Relieved. The beast was finally dead. But we, foolish and all too mortal, reanimated the beast. We thought we could control it, but no human can tame its wild and chaotic nature. No, no, humanity was not meant to wield such power. We will know no peace. We will pay the price for this folly, this hubris in blood and fire. God damn, do it all this over a series about some goofy looking trolls. Don't go into this house. Fuck it, stop me. I'm having dinner with Baba Yaga right now. Tears of the Kingdom is about getting a job and making money and then spending that money on ammunition and cute clothes. And I think that's beautiful. You guys can't reach the top shelf with all the snacks on it. Tell people, please fucking interact. I'm sorry I keep insulting your heights. I'm just so fucking small, man. You made your tiny little bed now lie in it. Well, me, come on. Perceive a cocktail dress made out of 2,652 pennies. Weight, probably about 14.6 pounds. It probably also smells faintly of blood. Why blood? Because hemoglobin in our blood has a lot of iron and thus has a metallic scent, similar to the coppery smell of a bunch of pennies collected together. People who do things like floor an entire room in pennies counsel that you really need to seal and varnish the finished surface, otherwise the smell can be pervasive. What if I want to smell like blood? You want vampires? Because that's how you get vampires. Ralph, that's the kind of reply you can post everywhere but Tumblr. Of course they want vampires. Running through the haunted woods in my copper penny dress like a jangly human-shaped wind chime to drive all the vamps wild. What I want to know is, will that dress that's worth $26.52 be cost that? Or will capitalism really just, you know, do a fucky? You fool, Seymour! You're reading one of my posts again! Thus I can make you say what I want again! <sighs> I, P.M. Seymour, have always hated coffee. I think it is disgusting and horrible. If I ever say the opposite, know that I am lying. Also, Andy, you're getting a pay raise. Anyway, when I say it's hard to explain, more often than not, I don't actually mean that it's hard to explain. Instead, I mean I'm going to sound like a lunatic if I try to explain it. This is probably what Kingdom Hearts lore keepers feel like right now. Most people have had a bone in their mouth for meeting. Some have had shells in their mouths. Well, after lunch today, I need to add shotgun pellet to the things that have entered my mouth. You know, bite the bullet is intended to be a figure of speech. You aren't actually supposed to bite the bullet. You can't just leave this gem of a response in the comments. Stop. What I want to know is, how did a shotgun pellet get into the thing you were eating? Hey, yeah, 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 so you lifted up the rock and now I have to scuttle. You, you motherfucker, I'm out of here. Morning, gamers. Let's take a look at some patch notes, shall we? Reduced one-way door speed to stop ejecting players into orbit. Added a lot of particles. It's like an anime scene now where the guy tells the person they love them. Going to sleep no longer crashes the game. Fixed a bug that prevented the self-chip from being cloned. But if you clone it, which will be your true self? Alright, Persona, let's calm down here. There were some bugs with the settings. Now there are not. Carry on. Sounds like oblivion dialogue. Removed Hano's A-pose from all animations. And just to be clear, it wasn't an A-pose, by the way. It was an actual falling animation. It was certainly not a T-pose. What are you even talking about? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Don't, uh, don't take away my keeper! If you dismiss your companion to camp and shove them into a chasm, Withers will now be able to resurrect them. So you can shove them into a chasm again. Probably. Tears of Mordek and Sadness. Flags flown at half mass. National moment of silence. This emoji. Press F to show respect. Children will no longer float while drinking the essence from a cow plant. Playing your old saves should no longer result in a mad rush for the restrooms. Sims should no longer weed chess tables near their garden when attempting to weed their garden. Angry Sims with appropriate mischief levels and evil or mean child Sims can once again stop on puddles. I wonder what game this is about.
Update, August 20th at 8 p.m. Finally, surely, indisputably, fixed the fuel cost issue. Cool. Now tell America how to do that. It's now possible to use an elevator while carrying a body. <laughs> they mean just mine, right? Right? Enhance the delicious, smoky aroma of the charcoal brick tours that make them more exciting for fire slimes. <sighs> There's such a thing called a fire slime, I want to see it. Yeah, about that stage 5-2 music. Wave 5-2 music is supposed to work like this. Always has been. I'm sorry. I bamboozled you all. Fixes the issue that after setting the graphic quality too high on certain Android devices, the special effects quality was still low. Aw oh man, how will you ever see your cute anime waifu from Genshin do the burst animation while you're playing the game on your mobile device sitting in the corner of someone's party? New moon. Depending on the moon cycle, night is no longer pitch black. We think this is a good thing. Resources should maybe, hopefully, not kill you anymore while harvesting them. Wildlife should not jump up and switch to random angles anymore. Grass runs twice as fast as it used to. Doors will no longer fly away. Nudity and censoring will display as pants. It's being worked on. Grass isn't as tall anymore. It should perform better. And colors are now illegal. Wait, what was that last one? I love the fact that there are just some phrases that have transcended homestuck and are now just a part of ordinary internet slang. Like, God, dear, where did you think you got that from? Your hubris will be your undoing. Uh, oh, oh, no. I shouted someone, killing them instantly. Sounds like part of a surreal Tumblr post, but it's just something you can do in Skyrim. Right off a mountain. After being spotted eating sugarcane, baby elephant tries to hide behind a light pole. What? Uh, what baby elephant? What are you talking about? Hello, can I take your order? Oh my god, it's a bignoy. Give a little kiss. You know, not to sound like a Victorian woman suffering from hysteria, but I do think going to the sea would fix me. Just let me do it. The two genres of fan fiction. One, put that guy into situations. Two, Take that guy out of situations, for the love of God, let them rest. You put the sad guy in, you take the sad guy out, you put the sad guy in, and you shake them all about. Now have you known, I'm tangentially associated with internet micro-celebrities with a slightly larger following than I. <laughs> yes, I'm thriving. If you don't kiss your cat in their tiny, soft little forehead, what the frank are you even doing? Yelling at her for trying to not eat plastic. A true cat owner? would gently take the plastic away, kiss him on the tiny little soft little forehead, and then eat the plastic to assert the dominance. I was walking past a shop and an old woman stopped me and said, Come inside, my dog likes you. He's 77 years old in dog years. Same as me. Happy to oblige, I plopped down on the rug and pet the wee dog while his owner chatted away about her family back in Greece. Convinced that we must be distant relatives if I was also of Southern and Eastern European stock. Oh my God, this is the most wholesome thing I've ever seen all day. He, him, and the way you look at a ginger kitten and go, aw, there's not a thought behind his eyes. Well, this just drives the need of a ginger himbo. Wait, 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 Andy, Andy, don't, don't point that finger at me. Don't, don't point that finger at me. Rest in peace, William Shakespeare. You would have loved Neo pronouns. He really would have. Being on this website as it gets worse really makes me understand what it feels like to be a highly specialized species suffering under habitat destruction. Look on the bright side, Therapoda. At least we're not Twitter right now. Me. This background character who is in this one scene has two lines and is completely irrelevant to the rest of the story. I'm going to stop obsessing over what to name him and use the random name generator on BehindTheName.com. I'm going to accept the first thing he gives me and move the fuck on! BehindTheName.com Your random name is... Showerzard Cockburn. I mean, I guess I could just call him Charlie. We all know what it's short for. Nothing more homoerotic than two unstable gays trying to kill each other. It's called a love story. You've never felt it. Opie, I hate the fact that you tag this as Tom and Jerry. They hate me for being right. Popping my back isn't it enough. I need to be picked up and slammed against the wall like a wet trout. Preferably by a very tall, muscular individual. Behold, flying threats from Grand Theft Auto 4. Um... 
Excuse me. That is my son. Sorry for not posting like three days ago, lol. Go drink water or something. Coke Zero, take it or leave it. I'm in your house, and I am not happy. So, just read the Bible. Turns out calling Jesus Jesus Christ is akin to saying Steve Minecraft or Sans Undertale. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Gets arrested for being too cool. Charges are dropped due to lack of evidence. <laughs> god fucking damn! PM, my child has tuberculosis. What do I do? Well, 1800s parents, have you tried powering the child off and back on again? Message to all bitches. Please survive. OP being deactivated is like a dying war general sending out her final message to her loyal battalion before succumbing to her numerous wounds. Probably from all being uh, the top tier bitch. I'm gonna go drink some milk. This image isn't loading for me, but if it's a link with a fucking speech bubble, I swear to God! Insert fun intro about how I adored Oblivion and got me into other Elder Scrolls titles, which I will now use for the sake of comedy to make fun of you other Elders fans. Slash affectionately. Well, congratulations! You decided the max difficulty of all these games was not enough. So you wanted to play as a jaundice-struck, magical, lanky snob who also has a weakness to magic. The fact one can send you into critical states where the flair is equally amusing and depressing all at once. It's a shame because you guys do actually look pretty cool. And I'm not even going to jab at the Thalmor, because that would just be like beating a dead horse. Which I'm sure you would love to resurrect and kill again, you necromancy-loving Anu-worshipping nerds. I'm gonna give you guys a 6 out of 10, because there's six letters in yellow, and that's all you are. Talk about glow-ups of the eras. Y'all went from crusty-looking skinks, to overcomplicated geckos, to just rockin'. That absolutely should be the Dragonborn based on horns, eyes, and everything else alone going on with you. Seriously, you guys look like dragons. But screw saving the world, right? You got Sithis a lot of things to do. Hell, even y'all train your little lizard babies to be assassins if they're born under the sign of the shadow. And for that, you didn't get any special quests in Dark Brotherhood should you have made an Argonia board from under the shadow sign. Which, that's, there ain't enough hiss sap in the world to help you cope with that. But you, 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 you guys do look pretty badass, so eight out of 10. Man, just, man. I feel so bad for what Skyrim did to you guys. Y'all went from looking quite distinct from your fellow yellow counterparts to just being the Altmer, but smaller. Which I suppose is fair, because you guys are supposed to be like the less formal, snobbier counterparts to the High Elves. But I guess in your head that meant, hey, it's not a magic. We just ate people. Now to be fair, y'all did it because you're sworn to protect every bit of plant life, which is truly <laughs> Like the most metal level of plant positivity I've ever seen. But y'all really should have looked into that green pack's terms and conditions more, so... 6 out of 10. I have no other way to describe this, but I feel like you guys were the kids on holidays that got so hyped up about getting that one toy you always wanted, only to get crushed it's a bootleg copy because your dad wanted to save like, I don't know, like 20 bucks? For being the theoretical half-elves of Tamriel, you guys got done dirty and keeping your sad little round ears, your short little stature, and then Skyrim yanking away some of your perks for balance reasons. Thanks, Todd. And then to add insult to injury, they made you French, when clearly your more superior nomenclature was Welsh. But if you can overcome all these aesthetic curses, you can be the best goddamn half-elf in the entire Nern realm and bust the kneecaps to anyone who dare calls you one of those smelly gross Imperials. Especially if you played f female Breton because they gave you the same voice actress and honestly it made you really hard to tell who was who in that game. So, uh... 9 out of 10. I still love you guys. There are two kinds of people who roleplay as Dark Elves. Those who know every bit of lore and not only the tragic history of the Dunmer Kin, but likely the entirety of Elder Scrolls in general. Even the bad ones. And those who pick Dark Elves, cause... <laughs> Blue Elves pretty. It is such a shame because you pick the most aesthetically pleasing elf characters in the game, and that your racial traits make you fit anywhere from rogues to mages to warriors to archers or traitors if you really want to be that immersive. Everyone in Tamriel hates you! Is it because of the danger worshipping? I, I don't know, maybe, but don't worry. Mommy Azura loves you. And I love you. 
You are my favorite tragedy struck killing machines, and for that you get 10 out of 10. Stay brooding. Wow, breaking new role playing ground there, buddy. You picked the most human of all the humans in Elder Scrolls. I'm sure you're proud of yourself. That's fine, because you can now probably play as a human who actually does some real good in this world. Or anything. Or even just, you know, wipe it the fuck out. While you guys can talk yourselves almost out of any situation and practically run the entirety of this realm, thank you, Imperial Empire, y'all are just boring. Like, even in a fantasy setting, you're just such basic tactical bitches. And I would give you a 1 out of 10, but I'm gonna give you a 3 because you guys did give us Lucien the chance, so we're good. It would have been 8 if you let him live. Goddamn. I got nothing bad to say about you guys. You all are just so damn cool. You feel so out of place sometimes in this game, but holy fuck, you guys are cool. Like, I'm not kidding. Your customs, your naming quirks, your architecture, your perk that makes you fucking incredible in hand-to-hand -hand combat, your designs, your moon worship culture, Mike the liar, just... God! Stay cool, you badass furry bastard. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna be real with you. I feel like this was as close as anyone is gonna get to playing a dwarf in Elder Scrolls. Despite the height, it's really not far off. You guys love to fight, you shout, you live in mountains, you have a possible drinking problem. And it sucks because dwarves did exist, but Elder Scrolls killed them. Once again, thank you, Todd fucking Howard. Very cool. Aside from that, you are fascinating to observe from a distance, because while there is some neat things about your customs and cultures, it's kind of seen by a uh, big statue of a guy who committed elven genocide and some of you thought that was actually pretty freaking cool kind of suspicious dude two out of ten if argonians got a glow up over the games y'all got bitch smacked with the brightest light out there because goddamn did marwen and oblivion make you guys look goofy as hell and that's even before messing around with the sliders but skyrim orcs <laughs> Ho 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 something to the neurons here. But I feel like if anyone played anything that wasn't a strength based build, it would just be lore breaking because hell, one of the most iconic orc assassins used no stealth, none, just bonked his targets to death in full heavy armor. But y'all have a hold on my heart, you big beefy nerds. 11 out of 10. You definitely know a lot about Elder Scrolls lore if you're playing one of these guys, and are having arguments online with the Dunmer role players, particularly on who had it worse. I wish they called you guys by a regatta, because the idea you guys got defaulted to this from centuries of name corruptions is kind of scummy. But like Arisma, y'all have a lore-breaking drawback that if I played as one of you, it had to be just melee combat. Because for some reason, regatta see magic as weak and wicked. And that would have been amusing if the game explored that, like if their you know, fellow red guard saw you casting magic as a red guard, they'd be like, Hey! Fuck you doing? It would be interesting, because they see it as weak and wicked, and you don't want to be weak and wicked. Do you? 8 out of 10. Well, I suppose I should do some sort of outro for this, huh? You know, it's so sad I have to block these beautiful women. I'm sorry, my dear, but you're not real. They are real to me. You wouldn't get it. I'm gonna go see my beautiful girlfriend, Diseased Ribbon 22. And maybe she'll ask for my social security number. Today on Low Poly Animals, the water snake from Team Fortress 2. This isn't Low Poly. Yeah, isn't this like the highest poly model in the entire game? Yes, it is. By miles. Dang, that thing's got more polygons than Tubi. Your stomach acid is lonely. Feed it an entire French press full of undiluted cold brew. Okay, done. Why am I hurt? I think he filtered it. That's probably what happened. We could go back to telegraphs instead of social media. Send your mutuals unspeakable strings of Morse code at 4.30 a.m. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, mood. Milk is neat. Because it's the only drink I could think of where you desperately wanted cold, and yet it would be unthinkable to put ice cubes in. A delicate limbo. A fury of absence. This post is nothing, but you can look at it if you'd like. Better yet, I'm gonna frame it, put it on my wall. See, look at that. Every time I see moldy food in my house, I think of you. Who do you think put it there? I dropped a small potato and started crying. How's everyone else doing tonight? I'm on floor. 
What if intrusive thoughts are just glimpses into fanfics of our timeline? I need to stop you right there. No, but yes. Clicker training, but it's just a single piano key that makes you sad. Ain't this what MCI did to a bunch of 2010s emos? Draw this in your style, but instead of a DTIYS, it's a DMCFM. Draw my comic for me. How about... Mm -hmm. Really freaking rude that I had to make so many appointments to get treated for can't make appointments disease! Fairfax, I pirated your stupid browser. It's... it's literally free. Coworker pronounced gigabyte as gigabyte today, and I've never seen a room full of engineers so immediately ready to fight. I guess they didn't want to get jiggy with it. I need him dorkier. I need him more insane. I need him insufferable. I need him full of righteous belligerence. I need him bloodier and sluttier and more deranged. I need him gayer. I need him bundled in no less than four micro fleece blankets. I need a gallon of soup in him. I need him kissed softly. And I need him punched in the face. And I hope you've been slowly fading in that Asterium picture I sent you. I'm so anxious right now. I wonder what would happen if I drank some caffeine. I'm scared, but faster! Wee! Oh, it is! Your fourth, tenth, and last most recent emojis describe your character's only personality traits in a movie written by a man. Well, what do these mean? Preef, have you ever seen the B movie? <gasps> oh, no! Uh... Oh, we're back. Fix Bagu or Chicken Pot Pie and Spicy Tacos had the same ingredients. Oops. You can no longer use peppers as part of your Chicken Pot Pie. <gasps> How dare! Made Hector! Smarter so he does not get stuck behind a tree. We have assessed kills! Uselessness and granted him an extra four heart from level 1 to 49. We're aware that spirits can sometimes get trapped behind certain areas and scenarios. They suddenly lose their brains. Fix despawn all but and despawning the player on custom maps. Oh, no more yeetus deletus. Decrease the volume of circuit error S effects. It could be argued that getting jump scared whenever you get an error is a good way to train yourself to not make mistakes. On the other hand, it could be argued that... Not that. Added co-op attack. Hold a pickup and grab your partner to throw him! Airborne player can press a special button to perform a unique attack. <laughs> Made certain areas feel less like empty spaces. Aw oh, man, fixing the open world game problem. Fixed a bug where the coins gained from removing sand dollar with a removal token weren't dealing damage to the landlord during the boss fight. What? We've implemented OpenAI's instructions for blocking GBT bot. This should discourage OpenAI, including ChatGBT, from scraping any part of Tumblr, including individual blocks. Huzzah, gamers, we did it. Fix error cubes being affected by hazard level. You should never be able to get more than one from a map. You get one error cube as a treat. Collection don crash to the lecture en français. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll do it in English. Fixed crash when playing the game in French. The examine of the bird on the boat that says parrot is not a bug. Parrots aren't bugs. And neither are owls. Really actually should not be able to kill the harmless frog now. The poor frog. You really actually positively cannot kill the harmless frog. You really shouldn't be able to kill the harmless frog. All right, everyone, stop what you're doing. There's a duck on my sunroof. You've been blessed. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? I think we should drag him back down here and get him to weigh in on this. It's just imagine treating him like a dog that like peed on the carpet and you just bring his nose to it like, no, no, bad. Congrats on your promotion from tournament blog to gimmick blog. Hey, this isn't a gimmick blog. This is a highly sophisticated forum dedicated to discussing important issues, like chicken smoothies and cars giving birth. Yeah, slagging myself into thinking I'm doing fine. Failing miserably at it. Voice of a man, invariably alienated from the human experience. Hey guys. Pirating movies by seeing them in Tumblr GIFs and basing my own story around them. 
Yeah, that, that's that's how medieval peasants were supposed to use stained glass windows to teach themselves Bible stories when church was exclusively in Latin. Oh, yes. Florbo from my tapestries. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I like it. I feel like everyone should see this seal we saw in Ireland. <laughs> His poor baby. <laughs> He's just trying to find his selkie mom. Any tips for art? Go insane. Be obsessed. Hyperfixate till your fingers break. If I could pose a rebuttal, um, know when to take a break so you don't get burnt out. Can I get a hell yeah? I don't know. Can you? Ugh. May I get a hell yeah? You should have gotten a hell yeah during the break before class started. Yeah, but I didn't need a hell yeah during the break. Did you know that Crush is betrayed high because sea turtles actually eat jellyfish and the poisons inside the jelly doesn't actually harm the turtle, but instead intoxicate them, much like marijuana does for humans? I just thought it was because he was supposed to be a surfer dude. Although that does explain how he showed up by the jelly fields. Boy was getting baked out of his mind. Do you know any kinds of cells with really funky internal structures? Mmm, probably this one. <gasps> Now that's a funky looking cell. Finger licking good. And it's ontological opposite. Toe sucking evil. Colonel Sanders and Quentin Tarantino locked in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Stop! I don't understand why some people use fractions instead of decimals. It's pointless. But anyway, you gotta draw the line somewhere, or else people think you're being irrational. But that is besides the point. Jeff, we got it. Hello, Venom person. Before you stands a female character, and directly above you hangs an anvil. Your test is to describe the character's personality without using the words girl boss and any variant of mother at any point otherwise. The anvil will drop. Good luck. <laughs> God, that's hard. I want morally great female characters. Listen, you fuckers could barely handle rose quartz. I just bought a thesaurus from the bookstore. However, when I got home, I found that all the pages were blank. I have no words to describe how angry I am. Oh God, there's another Jeff. Tumblr is a website where you can see posts like gender roles are a social construct and they're not real. And the stock market is just astrology for men, followed by he is my boy girlfriend, reblogged by the same person in a span of two minutes. Like, how do you not see the irony of it all? OP, it's actually very simple. Gender isn't real except for when it's funny. The Bugs Bunny rule of gender, if you will. If a boy kisser kisses a girl, does he become a bi kisser or cease to exist? Must a musician not paint? Must a swimmer not run? Wasn't lying when he said expert, goddamn. And finally, MILF. Man, I love fried rice. You're telling me that a man you loved fried this rice? Gimme! Evelyn for dumping, will you just tell lies? TikTok. Five minute crafts. Resume. This means the greatest liar is someone trying to apply for a job as a short form content creator for a craft store. The doctor says I got an intention deficit, so y'all gotta give me more. Do it. I wish that low intelligence didn't count as a character flaw, so I can proudly say that Kronk has no character flaws. What, what are you talking about? He doesn't have a character flaw at all. What, what's wrong with you? Guy walking down a hallway. Man, if I see another pointless thing, I am going to melt into featureless goop! The machine that designs and creates ornate pieces of pottery at impossible speeds, only to place them on a conveyor, leading to a small drop onto the solid concrete floor, ensuring that they are shattered. That's in the room the guy's about to walk into. The hell kind of Looney Tunes writing is this? Is that a, uh, trebuchet in your pants, or are you just happy to siege me? Um, excuse me. I think it's called... Tree bouquet. Words will never hurt you. Wrong! Death spell! Oh my god. I need to remember this if I ever play a warlock and I have power word kill. Diagnosed with just been in a kind of weird zone lately disorder. And it's terminal. It's not radiation poisoning. But the night is young. My immense self-hatred versus my delusional god complex. I'm sorry, did you mean narcissistic depression? You can't spell silly without ill, and baby, I'm diseased. Yeah, yeah, he has no morals. 
but he has long hair. Therefore, he's forgiven of all crimes. Emperor Kuzgo was clearly gay. He's 19, with unlimited power, and he ain't got a girlfriend. The only time we see him interact with any woman his own age is when he's rejecting, like, seven of them rapid fire. He pretends to date Pacha in a gag that lasts, like, ten solid minutes. J just listen to me, goddammit. You are dehydrated. You always have and always will be dehydrated. You are never drinking enough water. You could drink water until you exploded and you would still be dehydrated. You know that one friend who tells you to drink water when you're having like a panic attack? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they wrote this. Starting to think I may actually have some issues and even perhaps problems. No, no, you're fine. Uh, user handle Tony Soprano Big Naturals. Andy, I think they might actually have a problem. You should explode. This isn't a hate, Anon. I just think you would benefit from the enrichment. This is single-handedly the funniest task I've ever gotten. Consider a succubus, but instead of stealing your soul through sex, she kisses you and your wallet disappears. She may have just been a pickpocket. I don't know. It was dark. Investing at 62 notes. Good try, but this already a six-month-old flop post. Hang on, let's just check the notes now. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, there's some big boy numbers. Why are they all French? I remember back when I had a sleep tracker app that recorded loud sounds when I would sleep. It recorded me self-talking once. They're all French. Must be a part of the parts. And I still have no idea what that means. They simply are French. We can't do anything about it. I'm sorry, we? Why do AI bros have like pretentious ass bios? All you do is type words into a box. AI artist Tumblr bio, for Latis, Latin for patron of the arts, crafted by passion, shaped by imagination, master of the real, leading humanity's way into the future. Real artist Tumblr bio, welcome to my cringe abode, El fucker fueled by caffeine. I don't like that that bio is calling me the fuck out. Not a man, not a woman, but a secret third thing. Freddy Fazbaugh. <laughs> that feeling when you see someone wearing a jacket with a shit ton of patches and you need to get closer so you can tell what type of punk they are. Counterpoint? Girl Scouts. Are you trying to tell me that Girl Scouts aren't a type of punk? Shit, fuck, you're absolutely right. No way, actually, I got something I would like to add to this. So walking home from work yesterday, I passed a Girl Scout and her big sis selling Girl Guide cookies. I was like, score! I just got kickback money, so for once I have money on hand and they never come to my house. As I'm walking up, I hear the person at the door they are currently at, let's say he was braiding the poor girl for being brown. So when he slams the door, the little one just turns to her sis and cheerfully says something like, That's another one for the list. I think he's at least a two. And I'm already behind her at this point with my $10 out for two boxes of Thin Mints. And she's all like, oh, thanks. And I was like, what, what's this list? My big sister's keeping a list here of racist fucks and she's going to break their windows and stuff on Halloween. Anyway, Girl Scouts are precious little angels. Uh, oh, right. This, I checked the dude's house late Halloween night. <laughs> all of his windows were broken. <laughs> you smell that? It smells like Halloween. Hey, what does slash fic mean? Live grenade dropped into the work chat room. Oh my God, Ron. We need to embrace the fact that Tumblr user base is aging. What's everybody's favorite kitchen appliance? The spatula. I, I don't know why. Oh, oh, I think I know why. Andy, slide down to the next frame. Hungy. Perhaps I shall ingest the Lego crumb cheese. Noble gases are arrow waste because I say so. Yeah, I'll implement that into my worldview. The most terrifying part about having memory issues is when you can feel something from five seconds ago be thrown out the window and there's an empty hole where it once was. You remember that you forgot something. Hate it! Regret isn't an emotion, it's an organ. And baby girl, I am a church pianist. Oh, I thought I, I thought they were gonna talk about like 
human organs. Okay. You've given me so many scars, but I still love you. This may sound troubled or deep, but I'm just talking about my cat. Actually, this whole unity mess makes sense when you learn that they've got the guy behind such brilliant ideas as we should charge players per bullet in FPS games, and altogether The Sims 4 expansion packs cost over $800 running the goddamn company. <laughs> All game higher-ups are idiots. Actually, statistical error. Bad Ideas George, who has 40,000 bad ideas an hour, was an outlier and shouldn't have been counted. Mm. Frozen yogurt would fix me. You know we're in hard times when user I like orange juice wants to eat yogurt. Shout out to bitches that can't tell you shit about their special interest. The interest that has been with me for the majority of my life is squid, and despite the numerous documentaries, articles, and marine biology books I've read regarding them, I honest to god couldn't tell you a thing about them besides... A squid is an animal that is so cute. I mean, what more information do you need? That's the most vital piece of information you could ever give a squid. I think it's insightful. Hey guys, why do the animators draw you all with like new fall outfits with cute hats and scarves and haven't given me an outfit change since season one? I I'm just as important as you guys, right? Right? No one tell them. You are not immune to fan art of characters who have died in the canon that are now seen alive and well with scars from the wound that originally killed them. Peace fine, please stop, I'm begging you. I wish I could get that rush of dopamine from saying I never use TikTok, but unfortunately I use Tumblr, so I think they cancel out all the benefits. If that were the case, wouldn't you just be like a regular dude named Greg? You know, not gonna lie guys, I don't think being employed is for me. Devastated to report that being unemployed is also terrible. It's almost like we need to entirely restructure society or something. Man, this politics shit is easy. Why is everyone else having a hard time with it? You know what, you're right. Andy, put me on a little podium in front of Congress. Hey! You guys! Just stop it! Alright? Just stop. Stop. So, which OC is doomed by the narrative? Almost all of them. PM, I don't like seeing your real face. You're not supposed to have a physical form. Stop existing! Never. In fact, Andy, cover my actual face in the entirety of the screen. I'm a little high and I have cilantro soap questions. One, if cilantro tastes like soap to some people, why is it such an uncommon soap scent? I feel like things that taste like soap should be soap. Two, before soap even existed, what did soap gene caveman say cilantro? -y? Hang on, I have to stop miss mid-sentence because my phone auto-corrected cilantro to cilantro which means I have previously typed that word out enough for my phone to think it's a word and more of a word than cilantro. I have a lot of inward reflection to do. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.